you can do on the speedway. Ooh, there's a lot of people on a racing team. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and a lot of other jobs that help get ready for the race. <laughs> yeah. Oh, let's go meet some people who work here. Okay, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> hey, I wonder what this job does. Whoa, check it out. There's a platform there at the top of a really, really tall so step tall. ladder. <laughs> hmm, wait a minute. The person that stands there waves all the flags during a race. <gasps> These flags? Yeah, those flags. <laughs> oh, and there certainly are a lot of them. They're so colorful. Whoa, look, there's a green flag. Uh-huh, what does that mean? Mm, this means the race is starting. <laughs> and a yellow. That means caution, caution, slow down. Oh, there's a dinosaur on the track. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Red? Red means stop. <laughs> oh. And checkered! Oh, that means you win! Congratulations! Yeah. You've got first place, so when you pass the finish line, they wave the checkered <gasps> flag. Look! Wait a minute. If that is the, where the person that waves the flag stands, that means finish line! We're standing on the finish line! <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Yeah. I have a good idea, Mika. What? What if you and I pretend to be a driver and one of the flag wavers? Okay, you drive. Okay. I'll wave. Okay, there are your flags. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start my engines. Don't move a muscle. Not until I wave the green. Green. <laughs> green. Yeah. green. Okay. Winner, winner. <laughs> yeah. The checkered flag. <laughs> Woo. Race car driving is a lot of work. Hey, <laughs> check it out. Oh, I wonder what's up there. <gasps> wow. We're Whoa. so high. Check it out, there are so many cars down there. <laughs> oh. Hey, Blippi, want to play I Spy? Oh, I'd love to. You can go first. Okay, hmm, I spy with my little Blippi eye <laughs> something green. Something green. Do you see something green? Oh, is it the field? <laughs> yeah, it's all the grass right there down by the track. <laughs> okay, now it's your turn. <laughs> okay, I spy with my Mika eye something white. <laughs> well, this one's gonna be tricky. Uh huh. <laughs> well, is it a white car? No, not a white car. Try again. The white tents? Ooh, not the white tents. One more try. What about the white lights? It's the white clouds. <laughs> oh, yeah, there are certainly a lot of clouds. Well, that was fun. <laughs> hey, I spy with my Mika eye somebody with a cool job. <laughs> oh, well, we've been learning about cool jobs. Let's go say hi. Hello, I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. Oh, hi, I'm Blippi. What's your name? Brandon. Nice to meet you guys. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Brandon. <laughs> Brandon, what do you do? I am a spotter. Oh, a spotter. What does that mean? <laughs> but that means I spot for the number three car of Austin Dillon, and I tell him what's going on around the racetrack. Like, I tell him inside or outside or one back behind you oh. or where the crashes are. Oh, no way. That's like playing I Spy in real life. Yeah. Yeah, we like to play I Spy, too. Sounds like a really important job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, and so you tell them inside, outside, there's cars back. Is that to help them go faster? And if there's like a loose tire, they don't get into an accident? That is for that. And also I tell them a little bit more to help them go faster. We have to have some teamwork out there, work with other people, and that helps us go faster. <laughs> well, we love teamwork. <laughs> yes, we do. What is your favorite part about being a spotter? I have the best seat in the house. I'm the highest, and I get to watch the whole race from the beginning to the end. Oh, check out awesome. this view. Yeah, it sounds so fun. Would you guys like to try it? 
Yeah, I have an idea. Okay. You'll be the spotter and I'll be the driver. That's a great idea. And you can be a fan cheering in the stands. Okay, <laughs> give us your best cheer and I'm gonna try to be the best spotter Let's I can be. Let's buckle up, click, Okay, <laughs> Mika, go really fast, okay? Here we go. <laughs> Time to see what we can see. Yes. Okay. Lead the way, Blippi. You're doing great. Keep it going. Watch your inside. Oh, a car is coming up on your outside. Whoa. Here we go. He's too back. He's too back. Whoa. Wait a minute. Mika, huh? you're doing great. Okay. Keep going. Mika, I think I see a dinosaur on the a track. Dinosaur. Oh no. Oh no. His tail is right behind you. <laughs> yeah. And oh. you made it to the Yay. finish line. Yeah. Great job, guys. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> that oh. was fun. And Brandon, have you seen a lot of dinosaurs on the racetrack? No, I look every race, but I've never seen one yet, but maybe oh. someday. Maybe someday. <laughs> well, thank you so much for teaching us all about being a spotter. You're welcome. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Bye. Nice to meet you guys. Bye-bye. <laughs> Whoa, it's race car driver Amber Bolka. See you, Amber. It's so good Hi, to see Amber. you too. Yeah. We're learning about jobs today on the racetrack. Amazing. Well, my job is racing cars, which is my absolute dream job. Oh, yeah. Racing cars and being a driver sounds so fun. And yeah. who's this? This is my crew chief, Dave. Oh, hi, Dave. I'm hey, Libby. Dave. I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, and so you're a crew chief. What does a crew chief do? Oh. I'm in charge of making sure the car is safe and fast. Whoa, you definitely want to be safe and you definitely want to be fast. <laughs> oh, well, what kind of things do you do when you have a pit stop? Okay, so when we come in for a pit stop, we have we have a jack man. He runs the jack. Whoa. And he pumps his jack and it jacks the car out. Whoa, check it out. The car is going up really high. <laughs> okay, so when the car is up, we have a tire changer. He comes and he takes he takes these five lug nuts off. Okay. Pulls this tire off and he puts a brand new tire. Whoa! And then he probably puts those five lug nuts back on. Absolutely One, correct. Two, three, four, five. <laughs> Absolutely. Whoa. You always want fresh tires. <laughs> and then the other thing we can do is we have this hole on this side in the back window, and we have one on the other side. We can adjust the race car to make it more comfortable for Amber, Whoa. to make it faster. Mika, do you see these little holes? Yeah. Oh, that's so, so cool. Oh, that's pretty neat. Uh, is there anything else a pit, you do on a pit stop? We also put gas in. Oh, let's go check that out. Come on. <laughs> so they're, right now they're getting ready to put gas, gas in the car. Oh, <gasps> cool. Oh. Do you see that big red gas tank? Yeah, that's really, really heavy. But it's what holds all the gas so that there's fuel in the car for the race. Oh, <laughs> he looks strong. Yeah. Hey, that, gas, that gas can weighs about 100 pounds. Whoa, that's heavy. <laughs> you have to be really strong to be in the pit crew. And then when the jack goes back down to the ground, that's Amber's signal to mash the gas and leave pit road. Whoa. I have a question. Yes. What's the fastest NASCAR pit stop? It's under nine seconds. Under nine seconds? That's yep. so fast. Whoa, so that's fast. so fast. <laughs> fast. Fast cars and fast pit stops. Whoa. <laughs> Thank you, Amber. You're Thank welcome. you, Dave. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for teaching us all about pit crews and racing. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Okay, Bye, enjoy guys. your day. Whoa. <laughs> you too. <laughs> Whoa, Mika, that was so much fun learning about the pit crew. Yeah. <laughs> hey, let's try changing this tire. Yeah, we can try out some of these jobs for ourselves. <laughs> yes. oh, but what tool should we use to change out this tire? Hey, how about that twerk drill? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we can use this. Ooh. And remember, if you ever need something that requires a drill or yeah. a power tool, make sure you ask a grown-up for help. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, We'll friend. set it on loose and start taking off these bolts. Here we go. <laughs> Count them with me. Ah, One, ah, two, ah, three, ah, four. Can I do the last one? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> ah, five. five. <laughs> okay, now we need to put a new tire on this car. Okay, I'm on it. Woo. <laughs> Hello. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> oh, but now we need to tighten up these bolts. Yeah. Nika, would you like to try? Sure. We got to give our driver back on the road. Oh, and remember, when we tighten the bolts, we want to do it in a star pattern so uh -huh. it's nice and even around the tire. Okay. One, two, three, four, 
five. Just like a twinkle, twinkle little star. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> ah! Whoa. Whoa. Nice. Okay. Whoa, Mika, you're really good with that torque drill. Thank you, pal. <laughs> oh, the clock is ticking. We gotta be fast. Whoa, yeah. I think we took a little longer. But did you know the fastest tire change ever was nine seconds? Whoa, that's really fast. Yeah, really fast. I think we need a little more practice, though. <laughs> okay, well, maybe we can find some new jobs to learn about. Okay, let's go. <laughs> well, Mika, this race car is really colorful. <laughs> yes! Oh. Race cars are usually decorated with decals. Oh, yeah. Those are just like really big stickers. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I don't have any stickers. We can color this one. Oh, really? With markers from my jam pack. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Do you mind if I borrow some? Sure, friend. That's what I brought them for. Whoa! Look! Blue and green and purple. Black and red. Oh, okay. Let's get to coloring. <laughs> okay. What are you gonna draw, Mika? A strawberry. A strawberry? Well, yeah. I'm gonna draw, hmm. Let's see what I'll draw. What is that? Hmm. A circle? It's this oval. Uh-huh. And then I'm going to draw. The jelly bean? You're pretty close. <laughs> it's a flying saucer. Oh, cool. Whoa. May I borrow your green, please? Yes, there Here, you go. You can have the red. Oh, well, yeah, I'm gonna color in my UFO with some red. <laughs> Woo! Yum, that looks delicious. Woo. And I'll put my name, too. <laughs> Whoa, I love your strawberry. Would you like some? Yeah, and I think something that would be great to draw next to your strawberry what? is a cute little blueberry. Yeah! Yeah, I'm giving it some stripes. That's so <laughs> cute, Blippi. Oh, and I better write my name next to yours. Huh? Okay, can yeah. I borrow all the purple? Yeah. I'm gonna add some grapes to our fruit salad. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna write my name in red for fun. <laughs> Here we go. Mika, this is pretty fun. We drew some pretty pictures and some very colorful fruits. Yeah. Maybe we can just draw some colors. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Whoa, coloring is really fun. <laughs> well, but remember, this is a car that's supposed to be colored. You don't want to draw on any old ordinary car. Only if you have permission. That's not very polite. Mm -mm, not polite at all. <laughs> well, here are all your markers back. Here we go. I'll load them up into my jam pack. And I think we should keep exploring and see if we can learn about some new jobs. Yeah, I'd love that. Okay, here we go. Whoa, <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was so cool learning about all these jobs. And now that we learned all the jobs, it's time to do all the jobs. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to race first? Yeah, thanks, okay, Mika. Of course. Okay, let me start the race with my flags. Oh, and I'm gonna get into the driver's seat and get all ready to go. Okay. Starting my engine. Start mm. those engines. On your mark, get set. Go! Whoa! Whoa! Yeah! Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> okay, now I'll be the spotter. Hey, Blippi, swerve to your right. Whoa! Mika, okay. how am I doing? Okay, get behind a driver so we can go faster. Okay. Whoa, so fast. You're doing awesome. <laughs> oh, this is pretty fun. Okay, <laughs> time for a pit stop. Okay. Remember, we need new tires and some more gas. <laughs> okay, okay, five second pit stop. Here we go. <laughs> cool. Okay, Blippi, keep going. We're almost there. Whoa. The yeah. finish line is Whoa. here. the finish line, but now I think it's time for you to try being the driver and I'll do all the jobs. Okay. Here we go. Woo. Okay, first I'll start the race with some flags. Here we go. Woo. Here I go. Oh, oh the race has started. Uh-oh. Oh, I think I see some geese. There's a bunch of geese flying Whoa. near the track. Caution! Whoa! Caution! Whoa! Watch out for those birds. <laughs> Whoa! Okay. Now it's time to be the spotter. Okay. 
Keep going. What Watch do your I inside. need to do? Watch your inside. Okay. Okay, speed up. There's a car two back. He's gonna pass you. You're fast. Yes. Keep, keep, keep on the gas. Here we go. Woohoo! Time for a pit stop. Okay. <laughs> well, her tires look okay, but definitely want to fill up on gas. Yes, I need a fill up, please. Here we go. Thanks, pit crew. You're doing great. Full tank of gas. She's almost to the finish line. <laughs> Miko wins. <Woo>! Yes. <laughs> Where's my trophy? Your trophy? Uh -oh. It's right here. <gasps> Yay! The Mika Trophy! <laughs> oh, and the Blippi Trophy! <gasps> Whoa, great teamwork! Yeah! <laughs> that was so much fun learning about different jobs today and seeing those huge tires! <laughs> and it was really cool learning that a pit stop is where a car stops for a quick fix. Yeah, and the fastest one was nine seconds. Yeah, and Whoa. the pit crew are the fixer-uppers. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of our videos, all you have to do is search for our names. <laughs> oh, can you spell our names with us? Okay, here we go. <laughs> Ready? B L I P P I. Flippy. Good job. <laughs> Will you spell my name with us? <laughs> M E E K A H. Mika. <laughs> well, we'll see you soon. And I'll see you, Mika, at the finish line. Woo! Woo! Hey, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at the Paint Place in New York City. Here at the Paint Place, they have a ton of different art supplies. You can make a sculpture or a painting, but I really want to make a mixed media piece. That's where you use a lot of different materials to make one art piece. Let's go. Oh, Paint Place. <gasps> Come on. Wow. There are so many cool paintings in here. I see an artist. Come on. Hey, I'm Mika. What's your name? I'm Mika. I'm Deirdre. Oh, hi, Deirdre. Nice to meet you. What do you do here? I'm an instructor at the paint place. I'm an artist. Oh, oh, you're a very good artist. What is this? This is the New York City skyline. <gasps> New York City? That's where we are right now. I think I want to make a skyline too, but I want to do a mixed media piece. Oh, absolutely. You're going to need more supplies, though. So okay. why don't you grab it from the table? Oh, all right. Thanks. See you soon. Whoa. Look at all of these materials that I get to use for my mixed media piece. Oh, oh, here's an apron. That's super important because that way I can protect my clothes from paint or glue. Let me just tie this on. <laughs> Look at all the paint that's already on the apron. <laughs> Okay, let's see, what do I want to use? Oh, check this out. Do you know what shape this is? It's a circle, and there's a lot of little circles around it. You want to count the circles with me? Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 little circles. This is a paint palette. You can put different colors of paint in the little circles. Oh, I definitely need that. Hmm, what else? Oh, some paint brushes for sure. I like these little ones for detailing. Throw those in there. Oh, there's different kinds of ways to apply paint to a canvas. You could use a paintbrush or a sponge. That can make a really fun texture. I'm gonna throw that in there. Hmm. Oh, glue. I might need some glue. Let's see. Look at all of these colors. I see some of my favorite colors in here. I'm going to use, ooh, purple. Oh, yeah. Purple in there and, hmm, yellow. <laughs> wow, it would be so cool to have purple and yellow buildings. And this blue is pretty cool too. So purple, yellow, blue. Hmm. Looks like some of these papers are already cut out. 
Might need some of these. I'll get red and blue and yellow. And throw in some extra. Okay. Whoa! There's felt pieces cut out. Oh, what do we have here? <laughs> Look, there's a person. Hey, do you want to be in my skyline painting? Yes, I do. Oh, great. You can go in there and what kind of shapes are over here? <gasps> a sunshine. My skyline could be during a sunny day. Oh, you're definitely going in there. And some squiggles, those are fun. Throw those in there and just throw them all. Wow, look at all these different colored puffy balls. Woo, they're called pom-poms. Hmm, I think I'm gonna throw some in there. And, oh, I'll definitely need scissors. If you're gonna use scissors, make sure you're with a grown-up. And, ooh, a sponge roller, that can be fun. Another way to apply paint and Whoa, look at all of these different colors. I'm gonna throw that in there. And whoa, look at this cool paintbrush. <laughs> the big paintbrush. This one is kind of like a triangle. Ooh, that'll be fun. And some colored pencils. Oh, this is gonna be so colorful. What a great way to remember my day in New York City. Missing anything? I need a canvas! This will do it! All right, let's get started. I'm so excited to make this art piece. Oh, here's an easel. Put my canvas right there. And I'll put my materials over here. Hey, there's other paint here. Look at this bright pink. Ooh, kind of matches my nails. This is acrylic paint which is different than the watercolor paint that I put in my basket over there. Acrylic paint is thicker than watercolor paint. Watercolor is thinner and transparent, which means you can see through it. Hmm, I think I'm actually gonna use the acrylic paint today. All right, uh, oh, I'll use my paint palette. So I'm gonna make a sky and water. So I'll need blue. Here's some blue paint right here. Okay. Whoop, see? Nice blue paint. And, oh, look at this blue. I love this color. It's kind of like a turquoise or a teal. Put that on there. <gasps> so pretty. And I'll add some black. Ooh. <laughs> and, White. There we go. Check it out. And I'll need a paintbrush. Oh, this looks like a perfect paintbrush for my sky and my water. All right, let's get started. <laughs> okay, starting with a blank canvas. I can go anywhere. I'm feeling inspired. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna start with the sky. So I think I'm gonna use this blue and a little bit of white. Some water on there. And I have to be careful because acrylic paint could stain my clothes. Good thing I'm wearing an apron. <laughs> so, get this beautiful blue sky. Okay, I think the sky's looking pretty good. And now I'm gonna do the water, the river. Hmm, let me make the water a little darker than the sky. Some more blue. And if I add black to it, I can make it a little darker than the sky. Okay, now oh, I see a hair dryer. That's such a smart way to make the paint dry faster. Okay, see? Whoop, 
I'm gonna dry my paint so then I can add the next material. Oh yeah! Okay, I think that's pretty good. Hmm, my water looks really dark. Oh, I bet if I added some blue to it, it would make it look a little more like water. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, whoops. Okay, I'm gonna add more blue. Let's see. This will brighten it up. Because it's so dark, it looks like a street almost, but I really want it to be water. And I'm gonna add a little white. always important to clean your brush in between colors. Get some white on there. Wow, so I have sky and water, and I want some clouds up here. <gasps> I can use my fingers to make clouds. Okay, it's so cool how you can use different things to apply paint. <laughs> and the good thing about a paint apron is you can just ride off. Three puffy clouds. Whoop. All right, let me get. Now let's dry the clouds. Okay, check it out. It's the Empire State Building. I'm gonna have that building in my New York City skyline. <laughs> okay, let's put some buildings on my canvas. Let's get a lot of glue on here so my buildings stick. Here. Look, a yellow rectangle. Rectangles make really good buildings. All right, I finished gluing on my buildings. Now I'm gonna move on to my felt pieces. <gasps> Remember this, friend? Put some glue. All right, what should I name this person? Hmm, I think I'm gonna name him George! George, where do you want to go? Oh, okay. All right, you're a little close to the water, George, but I get it. It's the summer, you want to cool off. And, oh, my sunshine! To find my felt. <gasps> sunshine, there it is. Okay, I'll put the sun up here. Oh, I love it. I think it would be really cool to add some cotton balls to my clouds. There's some over here. Oh, don't these look like clouds? Soft and fluffy and white. All right, let's see what it will look like. Add some here. Yeah, cool, I like it. What do you think? I think the clouds look really cool. And now, I think I'll add some details to the buildings. I'll need a small paintbrush, like this one. Isn't this so fun? It's what's cool about mixed media. You can use all different kinds of materials to make an art piece. Oh, I still have some white paint here. Water in there, and then. Let's see, maybe this building can have some windows. Might be an apartment building. Oh, George lives here. George, you have a great building. Nice tenants. Okay. And then maybe some lines here, lines there. 
this building can have lines like that. And I'm gonna do three lines on this one. One, two, three. What's so cool about art is you can do whatever you want. All right. So details, I think that's pretty good. And I forgot, I have something in my jam pack. Glitter! <laughs> I'm gonna put some glitter on my painting, what do you think? Yeah. All right, I need some glue so the glitter sticks. I think it would look good in the water. Sparkly water. Now my mixed media art piece is all complete. Oh, hey Deidre. Hi, this looks amazing. Thank you, I had so much fun making it. I know the perfect spot where we can hang it up. Really? Yes, yeah, someone's coming to pick up their painting, so why don't we hang up yours? <gasps> I get to be on the wall with the other artist? That's so cool. I hope you enjoyed the paint place. I did, it was so fun. Thanks for having me. Bye. All right, see you later. Well, I feel like a real artist now. <laughs> That was so fun! Oh, guess I don't need my apron anymore because I'm all finished with my art piece. <laughs> what a great day at the paint place! I got to make a mixed media art piece using construction paper and felt pieces and paint and glitter. Oh, that was so cool! And I even got to hang it up on the wall <laughs> like an official artist. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool! M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye! Hey, it's me, Mika. And today, I'm at the El Sereno Community Garden in Los Angeles, California. Here, people come together from the community to practice gardening together. <laughs> oh, I bought some food scraps from home to compost. Have you ever composted before? <laughs> That's sort of like when you recycle to protect our earth. Mm -hmm. And the best part, we get to go digging in the dirt. Ready? Come on, let's go. Whoa. Look at these colorful signs. Oh, they're greetings in different languages, welcoming us to the garden. Aw, oh, thank you, signs. It's a pleasure to be here. Wow, check out all these plants. <laughs> there are too many to even count. And look, they're all in the dirt. That's where they get their nutrients, from the soil. Do you know what other nutrients plants need to grow? That's right, sunlight and <sighs> fresh air and lots of water. You can water them yourself or sometimes when it rains, they get plenty of water so you don't have to. Oh, plants need lots of space to grow too. Oh, this garden looks very spacious, which means there's plenty of space for plants to grow. <laughs> okay, friends, let's keep exploring. Hey, I'm Mika, nice to meet ya. Hi, Mika, I'm Erica. Welcome to the El Sereno Community Garden in Otsunga, the place of the roses. Nice. In the Tangba language, can you say Otsunga? Otsunga. Nice. <laughs> uh, are you here to compost? Yes, I am. Perfect. I have my eggshells and my avocado and my banana peels. Excellent. <laughs> uh, let me show you Great. Uh, what to do. And on the LA compost method of uh, composting, there's three boxes. You uh -huh. add. Uh, your food scraps here, and then you put a layer of browns, uh, which is dry leaves or mulch, mm -hmm. on top of your kitchen scraps, okay. which are your greens. Mm -hmm. Even though 
The banana's not great. But, <laughs> no, those but, are yellow. <laughs> <laughs> and so you put greens and browns, greens and browns, and you make sure the brown layer stays on top. Mm -hmm. And then once it gets filled, you move it to the next one, and then you shift it and add water, and then you move it to the next one, and then you shift it and you add, add water. water. <laughs> and then at the end, it looks like this. Whoa, check it out. So the compost pile, when it's ready to sift, mm -hmm. you look, if you look inside, there's bugs and worms and oh. roly polies oh, yes. and everywhere. What do the bugs do? They decompose the soil, the matter, the brown matter oh. and make it into fertile soil. Mm, decomposing means you break something down. So once it's finished breaking down, uh -huh. we take a handful and we bring it to the sifter. And then the, the sifter, you take out the big brown things that don't fill through the holes. Mm -hmm. And then you keep the worms. If you find any worms, uh -huh. you uh, put them back. Oh, put them back. Hello, Because worm. they're our friends. <laughs> and then we put them back in the soil so they can continue making soil. And the, the one that's sifted that goes through is ready to plant to plant new plants. Oh, awesome. I'm gonna go plant on the other side of the garden. You wanna join me later when you're finished composting? Sure. I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> okay, let's get started. Okay, here I go. Our earth is a wonderful host. I love to help her through compost. We'll compost this and we'll compost that with some food and plant scraps. Whoa, awesome. Okay, let's head over to this big pile of dirt. Scoop up some dirt and maybe some worms too. Okay, three, two, one, sift off. Sift, sift, sift. Oh, check out these worms. Did you know earthworms have taste buds all over their bodies? <laughs> Okay. Wow. Let's go find Erica to see if she needs help planting. <gasps> I've got it. Let's wiggle over like a worm. Ready, worms? Here we go. Wiggle, wiggle, squish, squish. Hi, Erica. Hi, Mika. <laughs> what are you planting? I'm planting some hummingbird sage, some narrow leaf milkweed, and some lettuce. Oh, I'd like to help. Yes. Did you bring the compost? Oh, yes. It's right here. Perfect. You're going to need it. <laughs> so you make a hole, but the size of the roots and the size of your fist, you take the plant out of the pot and be careful with the roots. Look at that. Oh, look at all those roots. And you plant them nice and gentle in the hole, and then you give a nice warm hug with the compost. There we go, little plant. These are for the pollinators. Oh, I know what that is. That's when certain animals fly from plant to plant. The pollen gets on their body, then they fly to the other plant, and it helps the plants grow. Do you know what kind of animals are pollinators? That's right. Buzz, buzz, buzz. <laughs> Bees and hummingbirds and butterflies and bats too. That's right, and you wanna know what else is a pollinator? I'll give you a hint. They're red and black. Can you guess what a pollinator is? Ladybug? That's right, look, there's one right here. Oh, look at that ladybug. So sweet. <laughs> Did you know ladybugs are male as well? Mm -hmm. Despite the name, they're male and female. In you go. Thank you. How about here? Now that I'm done planting, I'd like to try something else. Oh, can we harvest? Yes, you can. You can harvest whatever is ready and ripe. Ready and ripe, got it. <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh. I have a plan. Let's gather up some fruits and vegetables for a salad. 
Oh, these would be great. Check it out. These are Filipino limes. They're ready when they're yellow instead of green. <laughs> okay, lime, let's go. Here we go. We have two limes. <laughs> Ooh, flowers. <gasps> wow, look at this tree. Wonder what it is. Oh, I know. It's guava. <laughs> you can tell a fruit is ripe if it falls to the ground. That means we're ready. <laughs> Get some guava for our salad. Mmm, that smells good. Okay, let's find some more food for our salad. Yum! Cocoa plum. Let's pick one for our salad. <laughs> Look, it's so little. And it's one of my favorite colors, purple. <laughs> Check it out over here. <gasps> I see another fruit. <laughs> Can you guess what it is? That's right, it's a watermelon. Wow, I've never seen one this small before. This will be delicious in my salad. Ooh, an orange tree. But these oranges aren't quite ready. You know how I know? <laughs> yeah, they're still green. Not ripe yet. Okay, oranges, I'll see you later when you're ready. <gasps> Look! A really big cactus. This can go into a salad, but no thank you, cacti. I think I'll move on. Yummy! Strawberries. Should we put strawberries in our salad? <laughs> yeah! One strawberry. Two strawberries. Hmm. Oh, check it out. Kale. I would like some of this for my salad, too. <laughs> I know. Let's make a salad for Erica to thank her for showing us this lovely garden. Here we go. Hello, Erica. Hi, Mika. We made you a delicious salad. Yummy. What's in it? We have watermelon and guava and strawberry and kale. Yummy. I'm going <laughs> to have it for lunch. <laughs> Mika, can you help me with one more thing? Yes, I'm happy to help. I need to spread seeds out uh, so we can uh, harvest some flowers. <gasps> this is Arroyo Lupin. It's beautiful purple bloom. Mm. Oh, that's one of my favorite colors. Now, when we spread the seeds, we have to sing to them, twinkle, twinkle, little star, because we believe the seeds are the stars of the earth. Oh. Can you help me? Yes. Perfect. Roll out your hand. I'm going to give you some seeds. Thank you. And we'll get seeds and we'll start singing and wishing them love. You ready? Yes. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Oh, that was Thank so you, fun. Mika. Thank you. Yes, you're Come so back welcome. anytime. Okay, bye bye. 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 That was awesome. We did a great job composting with those worms, planting in a garden, and harvesting some yummy fruit and vegetables for a salad. What a great, beautiful day. I hope you had fun too. <laughs> Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> okay, friend. See you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hi, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at Ball and Bounce in Encino, California. I bet there's all different kinds of balls that bounce here. And I bet there's a lot of different shapes here too we can explore like circles or triangles or squares or rectangles. 
Will you explore with me? Oh, great! Let's go! <laughs> Look how cool this floor is! I see a lot of different colors and I see a shape. Do you see a shape too? Yeah, a square. Here, come down here. A square has four sides. Let's count. One, two, three, four. There are squares all over this floor. Hmm, I know. I'm only gonna hop on the green squares. Ready? Green, green, green. Whoa, look at this. Do you know what this is? It's a basketball hoop. And I see basketballs on the wall. Will you count the basketballs with me? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six basketballs. <gasps> and I see four more right here. Wow, they're all different colors. There's one, two, three, four basketballs. Wow, these are so fun. Do you know what basketball is? It's a really fun sport. You take the basketball and you wanna get it in the basket or the hoop. <laughs> hmm. I wonder if I could get any of these balls in the hoop. I'm gonna try my best. Okay, here we go. Basketball star Mika going for the hoop. Oh, I missed it. That's okay, I'm gonna keep practicing. Now we're gonna try the green basketball. Oh, see, I was trying to use the backboard to help me get it in and it still didn't work. Well, I have two balls left. The yellow basketball, maybe this is the one. <gasps> yeah! This calls for a 10 second dance party. Yeah! <laughs> Should I try the last one? Maybe this time I'll do a slam dunk. Ready? Here we go. Whoa! Wow! I got the skills. <laughs> I'm just being silly. <laughs> Can you think of another sport where you would need to use a ball? Hmm. <gasps> a soccer ball. Yeah, soccer is another really fun sport where you use a ball. I wonder if we can find a soccer goal anywhere. Come on. I found one, a soccer goal. We have our soccer ball and our soccer goal, so now we can really play soccer. <laughs> Check out the soccer ball. See, it's black and white, and there's two different shapes on it. This shape is a pentagon. Will you count the sides with me? Okay. One, two, three, four, five. A pentagon has five sides. And this shape is a hexagon. <laughs> Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six sides. So in soccer, you wanna get the ball into the goal, but you can't use your hand. You can use your feet, you can use your knees. Hmm, wait a second. There's more balls over here. I wonder if I can get all of them into the goal. Let's see. Oh, we saw something like this earlier. It's a tiny basketball. Do you know what color it is? That's right, it's orange. I'm gonna kick it in the goal. Here we go. Boop, <laughs> oh yeah, goal. And what? <laughs> this tiny one looks like a ball pit ball. Do you know what color that is? Yellow, <laughs> one of my favorites. Let's see if I can kick this tiny little ball into the goal. <gasps> Boop, yes, goal. And we have this really bouncy ball and it's blue. All right, in you go. Yeah, whoa, that was a big one. Goal. And another basketball, but this one's a different color. Do you know what color it is? 
Red, all right. That was too light of a kick, but don't worry, I have it in me. Here we go. Goal! See, I knew I could do it. And here's another really bouncy ball, and it's yellow. All right, three, two, one. Goal! Do you know what this color is? Oh yeah, it's red. Okay. Goal! <laughs> and now is the time for the official soccer kick. I'm using a soccer ball. I'm using a soccer goal. One. Goal! I love soccer. <laughs> Thanks so much for playing with me. I wonder what else is here to play with. Let's go. Hey, look at these colorful blocks. Huh. They're kind of set up like bowling pins. And bowling is another sport where you use a ball. There's usually 10 pins for bowling. Will you count with me? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is the perfect setup for bowling. The pins don't usually look like this. These are rectangles. Do you know what a rectangle is? It's a shape with four sides and it has two long sides and two short sides. Let's count them. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's a rectangle. Hmm. And usually you have a bowling ball, which is really heavy. <laughs> but I don't think there's any bowling balls here. Hey, but there's some balls over here. I wonder what kind of ball would knock these blocks over? Hmm, you could try, oh, <laughs> look at this little one. Do you know what color this is? Blue, yeah, let's see if it will knock over these blocks. Nope. <laughs> what about this one? This is a fun yellow ball. All right, let's see if this one will work. Whoa! <laughs> wow, that's a really bouncy ball. It bounced right off the pin. Let's see how many I knocked over. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hey, that's pretty good. I'll set them back up. We can try another ball. Awesome. Ooh, what about this basketball? I wonder if it's too bouncy to knock any of these blocks over. Let's see. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> yep, I knocked over. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> We have one ball left to try, the soccer ball. Let's see if the soccer ball can knock any blocks over. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Wow, I knocked over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks. Hmm, I wonder what else we could do to knock these blocks down. I have an idea. What if instead of bowling, we played Mika Bowl? <laughs> and instead of using a ball, I'll use me. <laughs> okay, set these up, and I'm gonna find a way to go down and knock these blocks over. What can I do? I could dance, I could crawl, I could run, or I could be one of my favorite dinosaurs, a T-Rex. Are you ready for the Mika Bowl? Rawr, rawr, Yeah, I did it. I knocked all the pins over, and in bowling when that happens, it's called a strike. Strike! Five, six, seven, eight, and now it's time to celebrate. Rawr, rawr, rawr. <laughs> Come on, let's keep playing. Whoa, 
There are a lot of shapes here. <gasps> Come look at this one. This is an octagon. Do you know how many sides it has? Well, let's count and find out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight sides. Wow, that's a really cool shape. Hmm. Oh, look at these little chairs. If you look at the back of them, you can see a square. A square has four sides, see? One, two, three, four. And there's one, two, three, four squares. But if you look even closer, when all of them are together, it makes one big rectangle. And makes for a really comfy couch. <laughs> Whoa, do you see this? It's a giant circle. Huh, it kind of looks like a cake or a pie. Whoa, look at this big slice of cake. Mmm. <gasps> Mmm, mm -hmm. very tasty. <laughs> wow, there's more shapes over here. I see a big purple rectangle. See, there's the two long sides and the two short sides. <laughs> oh, and if you look to the side here, I see a pink triangle. See, one, two, three. Do you see any other shapes? Yeah, a circle, a red circle. And this ball is here too. Should I throw the ball through the circle? Okay, let's do it. All right, ready? So long, ball. Woo! <laughs> hey, I see some really special circles over there. Come on. all of these bubbles. These are the cool circles that I was talking about. <laughs> bubbles are so fun. Hey, you know what I just realized? Every ball we played with today was a circle. A basketball, a soccer ball, a bouncy ball, a ball pit ball. <laughs> so many circles today. Can you remember any other shapes that we saw? We saw a hexagon, a pentagon, an octagon, a rectangle, a triangle, a square. There are so many shapes all around us all the time. Isn't that cool? <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> cool. M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. <laughs> well, I'm gonna keep playing with these bubbles. See you next time, bye. And I'm so excited because today we get to meet someone very special, Sean Johnson. <laughs> John is an Olympic gold medal gymnast. Gymnastics is a cool sport where you get to do lots of fun things with your body. It takes a lot of practice, strength, flexibility. <laughs> and Sean is gonna show us some cool moves at the Nashville Gymnastics Training Center. I can't hardly wait. Woohoo! here we go. Woo! <gasps> oh, hi. <laughs> hey, Sean, I'm Mika, nice to meet you. It's so great to meet you. <laughs> you too. <laughs> Will you show us some gymnastics? I would love to, but first we need to stretch and warm up to stay safe. Oh, right, cause yes. first things first, Safety first. Yes. So let's stretch your arms first, just kind All of right. across. Arms first. Yes. <laughs> How old were you when you started doing gymnastics? I actually started gymnastics when I was two years old. Whoa. I came into the gym and I just got to run around and I loved it. Oh, that sounds so yes. fun. Yes, it's kind <laughs> of like a playground, mm -hmm. but it's really soft and cushy so you can do a lot of flips and stuff and stay safe. Oh, that's so yeah. important. Let's stretch our legs next, right okay, here. Sean. So grab the back, it takes some balance though. So. Whoa, you're really good at balancing. Yes, How? a lot of practice. 
Yes, yeah. how often did you practice? So when I started at the age of two, I only went for like one hour, one time a week. But as I got older and I got better at it, I kind of went more and more hours. Wow. Um, because it takes a lot of practice to go to the Olympics. It really does. Yes. And how many Olympic medals do you have? I have four Olympic medals. Oh. I have a gold on the balance beam, and I have a silver on the floor, and on the team, and on the all around. Whoa. <laughs> yes. What are the differences between the medal colors? Yes. So the gold is number one. It's like the first place. And silver <laughs> is number two, second place. Nice. Yes. And then there's another one too, right? There's a bronze, which is third place. And did you ever lose? I did, a lot. I lost a lot of competitions, but I actually liked it better. Whenever I would make mistakes, it was so rewarding to come back into the gym and work on it and get better and like feel good inside. Oh, yes. Yeah. It's okay if you make mistakes. It's just an opportunity for growth. Yes. Okay, so let's sit down a little bit and stretch a little bit more before we get started. Okay. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Oh, it's okay to be nervous. I get nervous a lot. You do? Yes. What do you do when you get nervous? I practice so that I feel more confident. I trust myself and I say, I can do this. Mm. And I ask my coach if I'm ready. I can do this. Yes. <laughs> now lean forward a little bit. Put your feet out in front of you. And touch your toes. Touch those toes. <laughs> I do think we're ready to get started. Oh, yay! Are you excited? I'm so excited. Okay, let's go do it. Here we go. <laughs> oh, wow! Oh, that was so cool. <laughs> Thank you. Can you teach me something on the beam? I can, but first we're going to start on the low beam and progressively work our way here. Great idea. Okay. Progressively means we take it one step at a time. Yes. Until you feel comfortable and much better. So we're gonna start at this end of the beam. Okay. <laughs> and you're gonna step up here. Okay, here I go. So the key to gymnastics is keeping all of your muscles squeezed as tight as possible. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. That helps us not fall off the beam. Right. If you do fall off the beam, it's okay. We'll right. just get back up and try again. Do you ever fall? I fall a lot, but with practice, you get more confident and better at your skills, so you fall less. Right. Okay, so arms will go straight out to the side. You can, I think you got this one. Oh, thanks. Okay. You're gonna kind of look right down at the beam to make mm -hmm. sure you walk in a straight line. Okay. And we're just gonna walk forward. Okay. Walk one, two, two, three, three, four. Four. Okay, nice. now we're gonna walk backwards. Oh, that sounds tricky. So the thing with this is you're gonna feel for the beam, and then plant your foot. Make sure you look down. Feel for the beam. For the plant. Beam. And you're gonna go back till you feel the end of the beam. Okay. And when you feel the end, you're gonna stop. Okay. Keep going. <laughs> Keep feeling. Keep feeling. <gasps> there you are. Yay, I made so it to the stop. end. <laughs> so now we're gonna do flamingo walk. Okay. You're flamingo. gonna take a step. Hmm. Flamingo. Flamingo. Step. Flamingo. Scar, scar. <laughs> oh, there flamingo. we go. Step. Flamingo. Step. Flamingo. Now, in gymnastics, we yes. always like to be barefoot uh -huh. because being able to feel the beam with our bare feet helps us have more control. It's Probably safer. makes it less slippery, too. Yes. So, one more. Flamingo. Good job. <laughs> okay, next skill, we're gonna try a scale. Uh huh. I don't know why they call it this, but it's just the name. You're gonna take your dominant side, which is usually the same side of your body you write with. My right hand side. Yes, and for some reason, I think one side of your body is just usually stronger. So Ooh. we favor that in gymnastics. Okay. So you take your dominant side, mm -hmm. lean forward, arms out, and scale down. Whoa! And scale back up. Scale down. And scale back up. Good job. <laughs> that takes a lot of strength and a lot of balance. Mm -hmm. Okay, last one. Are you ready? I'm ready. So with this one, we're actually going to do a jump. <gasps> Whoa. Now, for all the kids watching, make sure you always have a coach with you and you don't do anything your coach doesn't say is safe for you. Okay. Okay. 
Is it safe? You're ready. I think you're ready for this. Coach says we're ready. So when you jump, you want to squeeze all your muscles super tight. You're going to go down, jump, down. So bend, straight, bend. And squeeze all those muscles together. Okay. Make sure you look at the beam, too. There we go. Ready? Here we go. Whoa! It's okay. We can try it again. Count to ten and try again. (gasps) Will you count to ten with us? Oh, great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And try again. Okay, here we go. Remember, squeeze your muscles, mm-hmm. squeeze all everything together, and I think you got this one by yourself. Are you ready? Okay. Make sure you look at the beam. Ready? One, two, two three. three. Good job! Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think you're ready for the big beam. <gasps> okay, let's try the big beam. Let's go. Woohoo! So, with the big beam, I personally think the hardest part is just climbing up. So I'll help you climb up, and then I can hold your hand through the whole thing. Okay, it's really tall. I know. But it might feel tall, but nothing's changed. It's the same beam as down there. Mm-hmm. And you are so confident and strong, I know you can do it up here. Thanks, Sean. Let's do it. <laughs> This is tricky. Whoa! Does it feel a little higher? Yeah, I feel a little nervous. Okay, remember, tell yourself, I can do this. Take a deep breath and know that your coach, myself, (laughs) believes you can do it too. I can do this. (sighs) Deep breaths. And make sure if you're at home, you don't try any of this without a coach or without a gym. Because safety is definitely first. Mm Mm-hmm. Most important. Okay. You've kind of mastered the forward walking. Let's try the backward. Okay. (laughs) Okay. Look at the beam. Squeeze all your muscles. Feel Feel behind you. And plant your foot. (laughs) Good job. Good job. Let's take two more steps. Okay. One. One. (gasps) Two. Two. Okay. Are you ready for your flamingos? Yes. Okay, let's try four this time. Four flamingos. Yeah. Here we go. One, two, three, four flamingos. Good job. Stop, stop, okay. stop. <laughs> Are you ready for your jump? I'm ready. Okay, so Whoa. here, I'm actually going to get on the beam with you and okay. help you with your jump. So, what we're going to do, I'll show you. You feel my hands. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna do a small jump. Keep every muscle really tight, just like that. I'm gonna hold your hands, you use me for balance. You're gonna squeeze everything together, go down, jump, down, and you're good. Okay. Ready? I'm ready. Okay, make sure you look at the beam. Ready? One, mm-hmm. two, three. Whoa! Good job! <laughs> That's really good. That okay. was fun. You wanna try one more? Yeah. Okay, ready? One, two, three. <gasps> Good job! I'm so proud of you. I think you've mastered the beam. Do you want to go to the floor? Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, (laughs) that beam was so fun! I was so proud of you. You did such a good job. Oh, thank you, (laughs) Sean. And the medal goes to... (gasps) Mika! So, now that we're on the floor, I thought I could teach you another new skill. Oh, great. But first, can you do a cartwheel? Oh, yes. I love doing cartwheels. Do you mind showing me your cartwheel? I'd be happy to. Okay, let's see it. (laughs) That's a really good cartwheel. (laughs) Since you you already know how to do a cartwheel, Mm -hmm. how about we take the next step and we learn a round off? Sounds great. A round off? A round off is like a cartwheel, but instead of landing one foot at a time, you put your feet together. Whoa. Yeah, it's a foundational skill in gymnastics that you learn before you learn all the big flips, like flips and tricks. Oh, yes. Yes. That sounds great. Okay, so I'll show you first. Uh Uh-huh. The cartwheel, just like you did, is pretty simple like this. Mm -hmm. One foot after another. So what you're going to do is, when you're upside down, your Uh feet will come together and land together. Kind of like this. Wow! (laughs) And this might sound silly, but the floor, you want to push it away as hard as you can. Okay. That's what kind of gives you that speed to kind of jump off the floor. 
All right. Okay, are you ready to try one? Sure. Let's give, give it, it a, a shot. It's okay if we make mistakes. We'll work on it. That's true. That's what I learned on the beam. Yes. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, here I go. Whoa. <laughs> Good job. Good job. So we also want to try to keep our legs as straight as we can. Okay. And a little trick for that is if you point your toes as hard as you can, your legs will naturally straighten. Really? Yeah. Okay. Let's try one more time. Sure. That was a lot better. Oh, Yay. Good. I'm so proud of you again. That's another <laughs> new skill. Thank you so much, Sean. <laughs> of course. That was awesome. Good job. <laughs> Do you think I could do that someday? I think with a lot of practice and hard work, you definitely could. Oh, thank you for showing me all those skills. You did such a good job on the beam, on the floor. I was really proud of you. Oh, yeah. We had such a busy day today. We learned how to do <gasps> balancing walks on the beam and scales. <laughs> and we learned how to do a round off at the end of our cartwheels. Yeah. Oh, we also learned that there's a side of your body that's usually stronger than the other side. Yeah. And that's the side we usually use in gymnastics. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. Can you spell my name with me? S H A W N Sean! <laughs> Bye, friends! Oh, I'd like to keep practicing, please. Me too. <laughs>
you have to do whatever I say, but don't do it if I don't say Mika says. So for example, if I say, Mika says, cover your eyes. Mika says, pat your belly. Hop like a frog. Whoa, good listening, because I didn't say Mika says. Okay, ready to play for real? Yeah. yeah. Okay, ready? Mika says, jump up and down. Mika says, stomp like a dinosaur. Ooh, ooh, I like your roars. Mika says, roar. Roar, 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 roar. Mika says, turn around. Pat your knees. Oh, I didn't say Mika says. You have to really listen, right? Okay, Mika says, show me your best dance move. Ooh, Mika says, purr like a kitty cat. Mika says, bark like a dog. Jump up and down again. Oh, oh, I didn't say Mika says. Mika says, clap your hands. Good job. Wow, that was excellent work, coders. That's similar to how a computer works. Oh, that's right, because you give a computer instructions and then the computer knows what to do. Correct. Anyone can code, even two-year-old Maya code using blocks. No way, that's so cool. <gasps> that gives me a great idea for another game. What if we played freeze dance? Let's do it. So are you ready to play? Yeah! yeah! And will you play too? Amazing! Okay, so when the music's on, we're gonna dance right into our best dance moves. And when the music stops, you freeze. Everyone know how to play? Yeah! Wow, good freeze. Are you frozen? Mm -hmm. Nice. Should we dance again? <laughs> Whoa! Are you frozen? <laughs> you are so good at freeze dance. Should we dance one more time? <laughs> wow, you are so good at freeze dance. Hey, it's like you all are like a computer and I was like a coder giving you instructions. That's so cool. Great job, computer. Everyone, I have some really cool gold stars to give you. Good job playing freeze dance and using good listening ears. Here you are. Here you are. You want a sticker? There you go, good job everyone. And good job to you too. Hey you two. Hi. I heard that you are both really good coders, so I bet you really know your way around a computer, huh? Did yeah. you know that a phone is a computer? A phone is a computer? Yeah, that's right, a really small computer. I did know that a computer's memory is called RAM. And hey, we used our RAM earlier when we played all those games to remember what to do. Correct. And some other cool things to know, there's a lady named Katherine Johnson who was known as the human computer. She helped astronauts land on the moon. Yeah, I've heard of her, a really smart coder who inspired a lot of people to become space cadets and work for NASA. Wouldn't it be cool to be a space cadet? Yes. yes. And also Mae Jemison. Mae was the first black woman to travel into space. She served as a mission specialist aboard the space shuttle Endeavour. Oh, that's amazing. Two really smart coders. And you're two smart coders. What are you working on over there? Puppy party. Puppy party, let's check it out. Oh, look at those cute puppies. I know, they're adorable. <laughs> they are. And what's all this? This is our coat. Oh, is the code kind of like the instructions? Of course. Oh, neat. So once we finish the game, it'll look like this. So we go around, tag all the puppies, Aww. little cuties, oh, and then and at the end, you <gasps> dance. Wow, that's so fun. I can't believe you two created this game all by yourselves. I'm so impressed. Thank you for showing us all of that. Now let's dance out of here like puppies. Dance like puppies, yes please. Come on. <laughs> wow, that was so much fun. 
fun. Hey, let's keep playing. Mika says run in a circle. Ready? Mika says do four jumping jacks. One, two, three, four. Mika says take a break. <sighs> Wait a second. Did I just code myself? <laughs> that was so cool. What a fun day learning and playing at Urban League Bay Area. We learned how to code computers and I think it's really cool that a phone is a computer. A really small computer. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. All right, I'll see you later. Mika says, bounce like a ball. Boing, bye. <laughs> hey, it's me, Mika, and today I'm at the Children's Creativity Museum in San Francisco, California. Oh, guess who snuck into my jam pack today? It's my dino pal, Dolores. Say hi, Dolores. Hello. <laughs> oh, that's right. Dolores has dreams of becoming an amazing rock star. Yeah. Well, guess what? This is the perfect place because here at the museum, we can write our very own original rock song. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, let's do it. It was such a good song. I just, whoa! <gasps> Did you hear that? Whoa! <laughs> Everywhere I step, a note's being played. Wait, when I stand on the gray, I don't hear anything. It's the circles. Do you see all of these circles? <laughs> I've never played on anything like this before. Wow. What if I only jumped on the yellow circles? All right, ready? <laughs> what if I only jumped on the green? <laughs> Dolores, do you wanna try? Okay, um, which color? Oh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, orange. Ooh, that's a really high note. It's a little lower. Uh oh, it's getting really soft. Uh oh, uh oh. oh. <laughs> this is really fun. You can play an instrument with your feet. Wait, I have an idea. I could use my feet to play this instrument, and I can use my hands. You're all zipped in, Dolores, nice and safe. Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> I use my feet and I use my hands. I wonder what else we can use to make music. Come on, Dolores, let's go. <laughs> Whoa! Wow, this museum is really cool. And there's so many different ways that you can make music. There's different sounds and different instruments, like oh, this one over here. Have you ever seen this before? This is a microphone. Yeah, maybe you see a lot of singers holding a microphone and singing, yeah. That way everyone can hear them. Try it out, Dolores. Oh, Mika, I'm ready for my song. Dolores, you are ready. You go, girl. <laughs> oh, there's another instrument over here. <gasps> this is a synthesizer. Look at all these different buttons. And each one creates a different sound, a different instrument. There's beats. Wow, there's a lot you can do on a synthesizer. And check it out over here. It's a drum, one of my favorite instruments. Wow, what do you think, Dolores? Mm-hmm, you like it? Do you know how we can hear music? Sound waves enter our ear canal and then the sound vibrates our eardrum. Isn't that cool? <laughs> oh, let's see what this says. Start a new song by picking a backing track. Whoa, let's see, there's a triangle, a shakers, a drum kit, disco. Ooh, a bass line. What's the bass line? Let's listen. Ooh, I feel that groove.
groove. Okay, let's do the baseline, Dolores. So that will be our backtrack, and then we can record the drums on top of it. Groove it. And now I have this really cool badge that will save all of our sounds for our song. Come on, Dolores, let's go to the next instrument. Doom, 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 doom. Acoustic guitar, okay. Hmm, okay, maybe, maybe. Electric guitar, that's gonna sound a little more rock and roll. Okay, let's see. I think that's the one. Okay, so we're gonna choose an electric guitar. Gonna press record. We're gonna add electric guitar to our song. Three, two, one. Hear what we did before? Yeah, where's the drum? My favorite's the microphone. It's time to sing. Okay, Dolores, you can be here. Sing out. <laughs> this is a robot voice. Hello, this is Nika. Beep bop boop. <laughs> Intercom. <gasps> Ooh. What about monster? <gasps> <laughs> or this is the chipmunk voice. <laughs> What do you think, Dolores? You want to try it? Sure, I'll try it. <laughs> what if we record a song in a chipmunk voice? <laughs> Let's go. Dino stumps. This is Dolores, she's a dino. She's about to sing, and it's not about rhinos. Go, girl, sing it out. Roar, 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 roar. I'm a dino, roar, roar, roar. Wow, dino out. Roar, 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 roar. to mix our song. Here we are at the mixer. This is awesome because you can see all the different things that we recorded and here at the mixer, we can adjust the sound levels, make sure it sounds really good to complete our song. Okay, can you hear Dolores? Right? Let's hear the song. Okay, what if I mute? The voice, the synthesizer, the backtrack, and then we can only hear the drum. Hear it? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. When you count the beats like that and you put them together into a pattern, that makes a rhythm. Isn't that cool? <laughs> All right, how's that sound? Dolores. <laughs> oh my goodness, I love it so much. Okay, so we're gonna save it. I can't believe that we made our very own song together. <laughs> Let's see what else we could do. Ready? Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, that's a leg guitar. Oh, 
Dolores, look at this table. Looks like a craft table. There's a lot of craft supplies and recycled items. <gasps> this gives me a great idea to make a musical instrument. Yeah, you can make your very own instrument at home if you have craft supplies or recycled items like this. Hmm, let's see, there's some string, some wooden sticks, fabric, ooh, a feather. <laughs> oh, I have a good idea. I wonder if you can guess what I'm going to make. Hello. Hello, testing, testing. <clears throat> I'm gonna put this on this end of the box here. You know what I'm making yet? You know what it is? It's a guitar! <laughs> Out of a tissue box, and a paper tube and rubber bands. Yeah, dinosaur. Yeah, 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 they go raw. <laughs> what do you think? It was a really big guitar for you, Dolores. But it's kind of like a ukulele size for me. <laughs> Come on, let's see what else we can do here. This museum is so cool. Bing, 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 bing. That's a great sounding guitar. <laughs> Whoa, this is a great setup for a music video. Dolores, look at this. Check out the backdrop. It's a beautiful blue. <gasps> hey, that's one of my best friend Blippi's favorite colors. <laughs> I bet you knew that. And ooh, look at this little setup. There's a keyboard and some drums and a really cool dance floor. This is a good spot for you to stand and sing and rock out, Dolores. Oh, and there's some more decorations over here. Looks like a tar and the letter M. That's the first letter in my name, Mika. Put that there and whoop. And then there's a blue star because you're a star, Dolores. You're a star. <laughs> That's there. And oh my goodness, there's a guitar that's just your size, Dolores. Oh, this is gonna be so fun. I just need a camera. Here we go. Here's a camera. This way we can make a stop motion video. Do you know what stop motion is? It's when you take something, put it in a position, and you take its picture, and then you put it in another position, take a picture, and then put it in another position, take a picture, and you put it all together to make a moving picture. Here, for example, I'm about to run. Take my picture. Take another picture, and then take another picture, and when you put it together, it would look like this. Isn't that cool? Okay, Dolores, are you ready to be a star in your music video? Oh, don't be nervous, you're gonna be great. You got this. Okay, start with you walking onto the stage with your guitar, looking good. Okay, let me see in the camera. Okay, a little more energy. Oh yeah, that's the one. <laughs> okay, and then the next one can be a little bit more facing the audience. Okay, big smile, rock star. Oh yeah. This is gonna be such a good music video. Someone else with an instrument. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I 
I had so much fun making music with you today and coming up with our very own original song. And don't you think it's so cool how we can hear music and sounds and that sound waves come into our ears and vibrate our eardrums like this? Ooh. <laughs> it's really, really neat. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M E E K A A. Ja. Mika, <laughs> good job. Hey, do you want to be in a band with us? They said yes. We better get to band practice. See you soon. Hey, it's me, Mika. Today, I'm at a very cool place called Lost World's Myth and Magic in Las Vegas, Nevada. <gasps> Whoa, that was a magical moment. Mm. Do you see those statues? Let's go check them out. <gasps> Wait. You're not a statue. <laughs> Hello, my lady. I am Sir Adam of the Kingdom of Lost Worlds. Hello, Sir Adam. I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. And Mika, I have a mystical quest. Can you please help me with it? Oh, yeah. The baby dragons of the kingdom have escaped. Can you please help us find them? Of course. Here is a scroll with your instructions. <gasps> Whoa. <gasps> OK, we have to find these baby dragons. There's a blue one, a green one, a purple and a red dragon. Will you help me find them? Great! <laughs> Do I have everything I need for my mythical quest? All you need is your Lost World safety socks. Oh! And remember to follow the dragon footprints to help you find the babies. Great! Follow the dragon footprints. Okay, let's go! Thank you! You're welcome! <gasps> Whoa! Check out this castle. <laughs> there are lots of places for a baby dragon to hide here. Oh, we're gonna find you, baby dragon. Oh, look at these trees. Whoa, they're so tall. Let's count how many trees there are. One. <laughs> two. Oh, and look, I see another forest. Check it out. This is a cylinder. <gasps> hey, you know what else is shaped like a cylinder? <laughs> yeah, tree trunks. <laughs> wow, this is a very enchanted forest. <laughs> and look, a bridge. Whoa. OK, let's go over the bridge like a knight on a horse. Ready? Whoa. Do you see that hot scotch? <laughs> yeah. I have an idea. Let's hop on the orange numbers. Do you know which ones are the orange numbers? <laughs> yeah, two and six. Okay, let's hop away. Yeah! Whoa, a boat. Let's get inside. I like sailing with my best friends, being brave and fighting dragons. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, let's keep going. Look! A whole herd of horses! <laughs> yeah! I'm gonna press the red button, see what happens next. Whoa! Here we go! <laughs> and check it out! Do you see what I see? <laughs> yeah! Dragon footprints! Wow! Let's count how many there are. One, two, three. Three footprints. Hmm, let's look at our scroll. What does it say? <gasps> Follow the footprints to find where the baby dragon's lair is. Oh, <laughs> it must be that way. Let's go. <laughs> hey, there are more footprints. We must be getting closer. Whoa! I bet the baby dragon is in there. Let's go for a swim and find our first baby dragon. Okay, ready? Splash! 
is getting so exciting. Let's keep finding baby dragon. <laughs> hey, there's a dragon right there. No, but not the baby dragons we're looking for. But look at this. More cylinders. Ooh, this looks like a skyscraper. <laughs> out over here. Flights! Oh, and inner tubes too. Let's count the inner tubes. One, two, three. And they're so colorful. Do you know what these colors are? Yes, yellow and blue. <laughs> Whoa, and look, more dragon footprints. I wonder where they lead. I know, I'll get a tube and slide down. This is gonna be so fun. Here we go. Three, two, one, go! Woo! <laughs> that was so fun. <laughs> hey, what's that? <gasps> Whoa! Uh, I think we just found our next dragon. Hi, baby dragon. Look, we found the red dragon. Awesome job. Okay, let's go look for more of its friends. Whoa, this room is so cool. And look, more dragon footprints. Yep, we must be headed in the right direction. Wow, check it out. Boxes. Hmm, I wonder if there are any dragons inside. <laughs> Let's count the boxes. One, two, three. Three boxes. <gasps> I know. Let's make a beat. Dragons, come out and play. We've been looking all day. Dragons, come out and play. Don't be afraid, it'll be okay. <laughs> wow, <gasps> let's head up this ramp. <laughs> wow, this whole room is purple. What are my favorite colors? <gasps> let's ask this dragon for help. Excuse me, have you seen any baby dragons? No, okay, thanks anyway. <laughs> Maybe they're over here. Let's search far and wide. Hmm, dragons? Nope, let's keep exploring. Ooh. Maybe over here. Hello, baby dragons, where are you? <laughs> Check it out, more footprints. Let's see where they lead. <gasps> hey, we found the purple dragon. <laughs> Three dragons found, one more to go. Whoa, an obstacle course. And it's in a forest. Let's pretend to be in a forest looking for our last dragon. Look, this is our first obstacle. Have to make it across the river. Okay, let's get in our boat. Whoa, we made it to land. And look, 
There's the big forest wall to get over. Whoa. Hmm, how do I get on top? Oh, here we go. Yeah, we made it. Oh, there's some more water waves though. <laughs> Let's fly down. Whoa. Check it out, some vines. Let's take a swing on these vines. Oh, let's keep going. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, check out these logs. Hmm, I wonder how we'll make it to the other side. Oh, I'll go under. I got it. Let's pretend to be squirrels in a forest. <laughs> Whoa, check out these rings. Ooh. <laughs> Whoa, this is a great forest adventure, friend. And look, I think I see dragon footprints ahead. Yeah, we found some more footprints. Okay, let's see if there's a dragon on the other side. Excuse me. <laughs> Whoa. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, another mountain. Let's give it a climb. Climb, 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 climb. <laughs> hey. <gasps> Check it out. We found our last dragon. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's check our scroll to make sure we have all four dragons. Let's see. Mm-hmm, we have blue and purple and red and green. Great job, friends. We did it, we did it. We never ever quit it. We did it. Great job. Sir Adam, we did it. We found all the baby dragons. Oh, wonderful. You have finally returned them and completed your magical quest, which has earned you the right to become a knight. Oh, whoa, did you hear that? We're knights now. <laughs> yeah. Five, six, seven, eight. It's time to celebrate. Woohoo! we did it. <laughs> Bye, Sir Adam. Bye, Knight Mika. Bye, baby dragon. <laughs> Wow, that was such a magical adventure. I had so much fun looking at those dragon footprints and finding all the colorful baby dragons. We played in a ball pit, went down a slide, and threw a knight's obstacle course. <laughs> Great job. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? M-E-E. -E. K-A-H, Mika. <laughs> okay, Knights, see you later. <laughs> hey, it's me, Mika. And look, today I'm at Kinderland Indoor Play and Cafe in Las Vegas, Nevada. And they have so many fun and colorful things for us to play with here. They have lots of shapes, lots of trucks and trains and vehicles, and a big slide. And today, I brought a special vehicle with me to find a place to drive it around. Look, a choo-choo train. Chugga, 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 choo, choo, choo. <laughs> Come on, let's go see what they have in here. Wow, look how colorful this room is. And hey, there are so many vehicles to play with. Oh, but first, I want to check out these shapes. One, two, three, four. Are you ready to explore? Great, let's go. There are so many shapes here. Look at this one. <laughs> it kind of looks like a telephone. Bring, bring. Hello, it's me, Mika. <laughs> And check out this one. Do you know what shape this is? That's right, it's a rectangle. 
a yellow rectangle. <laughs> oh, and check it out. It has another color too. Do you know what color this is? That's right, it's purple, just like grapes. And one of my favorite colors. Ooh, let's keep looking at all these shapes. Oh, check it out, a triangle. Triangles have three sides. And this one is blue, just like the ocean waves. <laughs> Whoa, and look at this great shape. Do you know what shape this is? <laughs> yeah, a circle, a yellow circle. Whoa, this looks just like the sun, shining bright in the sky. <laughs> and do you know what this color is? <laughs> yeah, red. Whoa, this shape is pretty interesting. Do you know what it's called? <laughs> yeah, a semicircle. And if you take two semicircles, guess what you can make? <gasps> a full circle. <laughs> wow, a full circle made out of one semicircle and another one. Hey, I have a great idea. Let's make a bridge and drive our train over it. Hmm, how do I start? Oh, I'll use this big cylinder first, and I'll put this one beside it. Wow, these shapes are really soft. <laughs> wow, oh yeah, this will be a perfect bridge. Wow, doesn't that look like such a great bridge? <laughs> yeah, I have to go get my train over there. I know, let's go under the bridge and go get our train. Here you are, little train. Let's drive over. Chugga, 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 choo, choo. Okay, let's see if our bridge works. Ready, set, go! Oh, wow, look at it go. Shoo. <laughs> wow, it made it all the way to the other side. I know, let's pretend to be different cars. Hmm, this car is really, really fast. Can you guess what it is? <laughs> yeah, a race car. Let's pretend to be fast race cars. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that was really speedy. Oh, let's be an excavator. Okay, get your arm. We have to pick up some shapes. <laughs> Look at me, I'm moving dirt. <laughs> hmm, let's be a bulldozer now and knock down our bridge. <laughs> that was so much fun. Now that we knocked our bridge over, we have to find some more places to drive our train. Are you ready? Set, go! Vroom, 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 vroom. <laughs> Whoa! Look at these tracks. They're medium-sized tracks. That means they're not too big and they're not too small. They're just in the middle. <laughs> Let's count how many tracks there are. One, two, three. And they're all so colorful. Look at the colors on this one. We have orange, green, and blue. And check out that car. <laughs> Do you know what colors these are? Yeah, yellow and purple. <gasps> hey, should we push these cars down the track? <laughs> yeah. Okay, car, get ready. Buckle up. Woo! <laughs> oh, we didn't make it all the way. Let's try again. Back it up. Reverse, reverse. <laughs> Here we go. Buckled up. Okay, let's try again. <laughs> yeah, we did it. Do you know what car this is? 
<laughs> yeah, it's a fire truck. <laughs> Get your sirens on. Come on, we have to go save some people. Whoa, so fast. Hey, do you think we should make our train go down the track? <laughs> yeah. Okay, train, time to go down the medium track. Are you ready? Get set. Ch -ch -ch chug, 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 choo. Choo, chug, 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 choo. Choo. <laughs> that was so much fun. Let's go see what other tracks we can drive our train down. Ooh. <laughs> oh, wow. Check out this tiny town. It has tiny train tracks <gasps> and lots of trains. Whoa, chugga, chugga, chugga. I know, let's count how many trains there are. One, two, three, chug, four, five, <laughs> six, and seven. From my jam pack. Oh, this train is looking really dirty. Let's go to the train wash. Chugga, 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 chugga. Choo! Okay, time to get washed. <laughs> All clean. Whoa, it looks like I need to make some repairs to this track. <laughs> I have some tools in my jam pack. Whoa, look at this train station. Oh, uh, nice. <gasps> hmm, what should we do next? Uh, I know. Let's drive our trains around this track. <laughs> chug, 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 choo, choo. <gasps> wow, look at them go. Whoa, I wonder what this does. Hmm, let's see. Looks like a circle you can spin your train around. So then it could change directions and go down a different track. Oh, dead end. Let's go back. How about, hmm, let me see. My compass watch will tell me. Huh, let's go east. Chugga, chugga, choo. Let's go over the yellow bridge now. <laughs> chugga, chugga, choo! <laughs> Whoa, there are lots of other vehicles too. <gasps> A recycling truck. Very good for the earth. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> too big for this track though. <gasps> Whoa, check this one out. <gasps> I bet we can put our trains inside. <laughs> Load them up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's drive over to another place to explore. Whoa! Check out all these vehicles. There are so many different types of them. There's a choo-choo train, and a bicycle, and a race car. What do you think? Should we try these vehicles? <laughs> yeah! Okay, let's go on our bicycle. <gasps> Woohoo! Bicycle. Whoa! <laughs> okay, let's try a race car next. Let's power up our engines. <laughs> honk, honk. Honk, honk. <laughs> Here we go. Whoa! So fast! I like cruising with you. <gasps> Whoa, look at this car. It has a number on it. Do you know what number this is? Yeah, it's the number eight. Let's drive car number eight. <laughs> oh, but it's a red light, I have to stop. Green, go! Yellow means slow down. Okay, green, we can go fast again. Oh, hey, 
Check it out. Do you see that ball pit? <laughs> yeah, let's drive our choo-choo train over. Chugga 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 choo. Chugga 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 choo. Choo. Woo! What do you think? Should I get in the ball pit? <laughs> yeah, let's go! Woohoo! <laughs> oh, I know. Let's make some snow angels. <laughs> hey, check it out. I found another train in the ball pit. This is a pretty big train. Chug, chug, chug. Choo, choo, choo. <laughs> Okay, that was so much fun. Let's swim away. Wow, look at all these colorful steps. Let's name the colors. We have dark green, burgundy, pink, blue, green, just like grass, purple, red, Navy blue. <laughs> Whoa, this is so colorful and fun. And look, another bridge. Let's chug across. Chug a chug a chug a chug a choo choo. Whoa, look at this big red slide. Oh, I can't wait to slide down, but after you, train. Ready? Set. Whoa. Okay, my turn. Three, two, one. Woo! <laughs> wow, what a great day. We found so many places to drive our train. We did it, we did it. We never ever quit it, we did it. Do you remember all the places we drove our train? Yeah, we drove our train over the bridge made of shapes. We drove our train on those little tracks in the tiny town. We even drove our train on medium tracks going downhill. And then we drove our train down the slide. <laughs> that was such a fun day driving around with you. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. Okay, friends, see you later. Chugga, 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 choo, choo. It's Farmer Mika in the Dell. Farmer Mika in the Dell. Hi ho, the Dario. It's Mika in the Dell. <laughs> Hi, friends. It's me, Mika. Nice to meet ya. And today, I'm at the Children's Museum at La Habra. Museums are a great place for minds growing and flowing. <laughs> and we have a busy day on the farm. Oh, I hope we get to meet some chickens. Or maybe a cow. <laughs> Would you like to explore with me? Oh, great. One, two, three, four. Are you ready to explore? <laughs> yeah, let's get moving. Here we go. Let's hop in. Oh, first things first, safety first. Click, click. All buckled up, friend. Oh, great. Ready for the farm? <laughs> yeah. Here we go. <gasps> Look, we made it to the farm. <laughs> Yay. Let's take a closer look. Hey, this is a vegetable garden. Yeah, that's where lots of yummy vegetables grow. Vegetables are really good for your body. They help you stay healthy and strong. <gasps> Ooh, and there are so many different types of vegetables. But these vegetables are growing underground. <gasps> yeah, they're root vegetables. Root vegetables are carrots and potatoes. And hmm, what's this one? <gasps> a beet. <laughs> I like beets. 
They taste really rich and delicious. <gasps> and look, do you know what this is? <laughs> it's a turnip. Yeah, you never know where they might turn up. <laughs> I know. Let's collect some vegetables for our lunch. We'll start with carrots. Hmm, will you count the carrots with me? Oh, great. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six carrots. Six orange carrots. But did you know carrots come in lots of different colors? <laughs> yeah, there are red carrots and white carrots and yellow carrots and purple carrots. That's right, carrots come in my two favorite colors. Let's grab some potatoes next. Let's dig them out. Dig, 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 dig. <gasps> Whoa, one potato. Two potato. Let's grab one more potato. <laughs> Three potatoes. Hmm, I'd like one beet, please. Dig, dig, dig. One beet. And let's get one turn up too. <laughs> Yay! Oh, this is gonna make a delicious stew. Whoa, check it out. It looks like an orchard. <gasps> Whoa! An orchard is where fruit and nut trees grow. This is an orange tree. <gasps> Let's collect some oranges. Maybe we can put them on a salad. <gasps> One, <gasps> two, three. Nice and ripe. Oh, there's so many things you can do with an orange. You can squeeze, squeeze, squeeze them and make some orange juice for breakfast. And you can use the peels for compost. Oranges are really, really nutritious. They have lots of vitamin C. <laughs> Wait, I see some more trees over there. Let's go check it out. <gasps> I know, let's be a buzz and buzz over to that orchard. Buzz. Whoa, check out this orchard. There are so many different trees here. Let's count the trees. One, <laughs> two, and three. Three trees. This one has lemon on it, and this one has avocado, and this one over here has oranges. Do you know what they all have in common? <laughs> yeah, they're fruit trees. And do you know what makes a fruit a fruit? Fruits all have seeds. Look, see, an avocado has one big brown seed inside. <gasps> I know, let's make some guacamole. Let's grab four avocados. One, two, <laughs> three, four. Actually, four and a half. Now we need some lemons. Okay, let's get two lemons. One, <laughs> two, two lemons. Hey, maybe we can make some lemonade. That sounds refreshing. <laughs> Look, I'm riding on a tractor. Oh, and check it out. There's another vegetable garden with root vegetables. Oh, we haven't added cauliflower yet. Let's get one. One cauliflower. Add it to our bag and let's keep rolling along. Oh, I'm farming, oh, I'm farming, oh, I'm farming vegetables. In my garden, yeah, I'm farming for some dinner with my friends. Oh, look! It's a tractor parking lot. Let's park. <laughs> oh, 
Let's count how many tractors there are. One, two, two green tractors. I'll leave my vegetables right here so I can explore. <gasps> Look, there are some animals. Hello, sheep. I'm Mika, nice to meet ya. Would you like some pets? <laughs> okay. Wow, you're so soft. Do you know what sound a sheep makes? That's right. Ba! Ba! <laughs> How about this animal? The kitty cat. Hello, kitty. <laughs> Do you know what sound this kitty cat makes? Meow! 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 Oh, you're so sweet. Hey, I see a barn over there. Let's go see what's inside. Woo! Whoa, check it out. A big red barn. What's that? <laughs> There's a cow inside. Let's say hello. Hello, cow. I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. <laughs> this cow is black and white. Do you know what sound it makes? <laughs> That's right. Moo. Moo. <laughs> hey, I peeped some chicken over there. Let's go say hi. <laughs> hey, chickens. I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. Let's count how many chickens there are. One, two, three. Three little chickens. Oh, in three different colors. Gray, brown, and beige. <laughs> Did you know chickens are the closest living relative to dinosaurs? Rawr! <laughs> so cool. Oh, let's see what's in here. Oh, there's some eggs. Excuse me, chickens. May I have some eggs? <laughs> Thank you so much. Let's grab my bag and get some eggs. Oh, hey, look. The eggs are in two different colors. White and brown. Let's count all of the eggs. And we have to be very, very gentle because eggs are delicate, which means they're easy to break. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> six eggs. Oh, thank you so much for being so generous, chickens. Oh, we have so many healthy fruits and vegetables and eggs with us. Let's go see what we should make for lunch. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> Here we go. Whoa, check out this farmhouse. Oh, let's wash our hands before we have some lunch. All right, ready to go. A stove. Let's scramble some eggs. Crack. <laughs> Crack. Sizzle, 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 sizzle. <laughs> mm, yum. An ice box. Hmm. Let's put our cauliflower inside for later. How about some carrots, too? That way they stay nice and cold. That was a long day at the farm. I'm really hungry. Oh, hello, kitty cat. Thanks for joining me. Oh, you're hungry too? All right, let's see what we have. One potato for you and one potato for me. One avocado for you, kitty cat, and one avocado for me. Oh, a carrot for you, pal, and a carrot for me. <laughs> oh, some more eggs, yes. One egg for you and one egg for me. Oh, don't forget some lemon. There you go, a whole lemon for you and hmm, an orange for me. <laughs> Is that all? Oh, don't forget our turnip. Mm-hmm, a turnip for you and 
a beat for me. Let's count how many items the kitty cat has. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Hope you're really hungry. Okay, bon appetit. Let's eat. <laughs> That was such a great day on the farm with you. What did we learn today? One, two, three, can you tell me? <laughs> I learned that fruits have seeds. And I also learned that root vegetables grow in the ground. Oh, that was so much fun. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? Oh, great. M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. <laughs> okay, friends, see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hi, it's me, Mika. Did you just see how fast I went down that silly slide? <laughs> that was so much fun. Wait. What? Do you know what letter this is? It's the letter A. And it's purple, <laughs> one of my favorite colors. Ooh. And the letter B. A, B, C. A, B, C. Hey, those are the first three letters of the alphabet. That's pretty cool. Hmm. I wonder if there are more letters around Peekaboo Playland that we can find. Oh, I'll just stick them here in my jam pack and we can go look for more. Will you come with me? Great! One, two, three, four, I'm ready to explore! Come on! Whoa, check it out! Do you know what this is? It's a bounce house! And this one is extra cool because there's a big slide! Oh, I wonder if there's any letters in there. Should we go see? Okay, I'll race you to the top. On your mark, get set, go! Whoa, that was so fun! And there are more letters here. Okay, let's see. Um, oh, do you know what letter this is? It's the letter M for... Mika! <laughs> and it's one of my favorite colors, purple. <laughs> Ooh, and this is the letter J. J for joy or for jelly. <laughs> and here is the letter P, that's right. P for party or for popcorn or pumpkin. <laughs> And this letter is, yep, the letter U for unicorn or umbrella. Hmm, I have an idea. What if I move this here and this over here? So we have J, U, M, P. That spells jump. Well, if the letter spell jump, we gotta jump. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put these letters back into my jam pack. J for jam pack. <laughs> hey, will you jump with me? Let's do a really fun big jump together. <laughs> Nicely done. Should we look for some more letters? All right, three, two, one. Let's have some fun. <laughs> Come on, let's go see what's upstairs. Hello. Oh, do you see what animal this is? Well, I see a big eye up top with really cool eyelashes and a really big beak. Hello. And a really long wing. Hey, and there's a wing on the other side too. Do you know what bird this is? It's a goose. 
Will you sound like a goose with me? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> they sound really silly. <laughs> nice goose. <laughs> hey, that makes me think of Mother Goose. Do you know any Mother Goose stories like Humpty Dumpty or Jack and Jill or Mary Had a Little Lamb? Oh, they're all such really good stories and I love to read, so I really know Mother Goose. <laughs> hey, if you want to learn how to read, you have to know every single letter in the alphabet. <gasps> Speaking of letters, look what I found. The letter G for goose. <laughs> And the letter O for octopus. <laughs> hey, G-O spells go. <gasps> but where should we go? Hmm. <gasps> I think there's a slide down below. I'll just put these in my jam pack and meet you at the bottom. Whoa, <laughs> that was so much fun. Thanks for finding letters with me. <gasps> should we keep looking for more? Oh, awesome! Hey, let's pretend to be a goose and go that way. Honk! 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 <laughs> hey, look at this house! I wonder if there's any letters in there. Let's see. Hmm. Ooh. It's so tiny! <laughs> Hi! Welcome to my new home. I don't see any letters. But I do see a giraffe. <laughs> I love giraffes. Hey, did you know that giraffes have really long black tongues? I can't see this one. This giraffe's a little shy. And also, a puppy. Oh, hey, there's some other toys over here. Let's see, there's a T-Rex. <laughs> and, oh, a cute little baby. Hi, little baby, what's your name? Oh, she's shy. Oh, it's Barb. Hi, Barb. <laughs> and, oh, cool. Hello, I'm a tiger, believe it or not. <coughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> I love puppets. <gasps> that gives me an idea to put on a puppet show. Okay, everyone get ready for the puppet show. It's starting in three seconds. Okay, three, two, one. <laughs> ah, good morning world. I wish I had someone to play with today. <laughs> Good morning, world. I wish I had someone to play with. Hey, I just said that. You did? <gasps> New friends. <laughs> oh, no. Someone said, who can it be? Uh, it's me, Barb. Oh, Barb, why are you so sad? Oh, Barb wants to play too. Well, no problem, we can all be friends. Yay! Look at all of these friends. Oh, and me. <laughs> Let's see what else is in this basket. Guess what? There's two more letters. The letter S, S, S for S, Snake or spaghetti. <laughs> and the letter O. Remember when we found the letter O before for octopus? Okay, let's see. S, O, so. Let me see if there's some other letters in here. Maybe I can make a word. I have the letter U and the letter P. S, O, U, P spells soup. <gasps> That gives me a great idea to make alphabet soup. <gasps> Come on. Oh, let me clean up. Alphabet soup, that's going to be so much fun. I think that calls for a 10 second dance party. Will you dance with me? Let's do it. Peek 
Rebecca's Bistro. Ooh, a bistro is kind of like a fancy restaurant. Let's turn it into Mika's Fancy Restaurant. <laughs> Come on. This is the perfect place for us to make alphabet soup. Hmm, let's see, I need a really big pot. Do you see a pot anywhere? Oh! We have a lot of ingredients. We have to put in all the letters that we found. Let's see. We found A and O and C and M and J. Is that the right way? Yeah. <laughs> o, G, B, S, P, and U. Ooh, that's gonna be yummy. Hmm, what else should we put in here? Hey, a refrigerator. Check it out. I think I'm gonna add some vegetables into this soup. Maybe some corn, more corn. <laughs> Ooh, a green bell pepper, that's really yummy. Let's see, oh, and I love citrus in my soup. This is a lime, let's get all the lime juice in there. <laughs> hey, <gasps> the rest of the alphabet. Now we need some water. Hey, there's a pitcher over here. Whoa, okay. And I need a really big spoon, like a ladle. Oh, this is perfect. Wow, look how big it is. Can stir all the ingredients. Oh, starting to smell really good. There's so many letters in here. Hey, do you know the alphabet? <laughs> Let's sing it while I stir, ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y and Z. Now I've sung my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Okay, I think it's ready to be moved to the stove to cook. I'll turn it up nice and hot. Ooh, this way all of the ingredients and the letters will mix together to make a really yummy alphabet soup. <gasps> hey, it's time to take a break to wiggle and shake. Oh, hey, there's a friend over here. A little fox. Do you want to wiggle and shake with us? Oh, great, what's your name? Oh, Francine the fox. Okay, let's wiggle and shake together while we wait for that soup to cook. Wiggle and shake, wiggle and shake, wiggle and shake. <laughs> nice. Do you want to try our alphabet soup? Yes! Okay, well, here, let me pull out a chair for you, Francine. Oh, I can smell the soup. Oh, yeah, that smells so good. I think it's time to turn this off. Oh, it looks so yummy. Oh, we need bowls. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Here's one for you, Francine, and one for me. Okay, do you want the first taste? All right, it's really hot. Here you go. Make sure you like it first. <gasps> Do you like it? Yay, we did it! Okay, so I'll put some in your bowl for you there, Francine. And some for me. <gasps> I can't wait to taste it. I don't even need a spoon. I'm just gonna drink it. Mm, it's so yummy! Here, I'll help you, Francine. Mmm! <laughs> Alphabet soup for you and me. It's like we're having a soup party! Soup party, soup party. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy you like it, Francine. Nice and full. <laughs> hey, thanks for helping me make alphabet soup. <laughs> hey, look who I found. Our two friends from the house. Hey, you two, are you still playing together? 
Mm-hmm. And are you playing nicely together? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah, we're best friends. Aw, well, thank you two for playing with us earlier. Thank you, Mika. Oh, they're so sweet. <laughs> What a fun day playing at Peekaboo Playland. Hey, thanks for helping me find all of those letters. I love letters. And wasn't it fun to make alphabet soup? <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> Hey, I found one more letter. It's the letter B for bye. <laughs> hey, it's me, Mika, and look where I'm at. I'm at Spokane Gymnastics in Spokane Valley, Washington. And this is an amazing place where I can jump and play and move my body and probably do even more cartwheels. Let's learn how to do some gymnastics. Come on! Wow, check it out! We are in a gymnastics gym. This is a place where you can practice your gymnastics moves and climb and stretch and jump. Whoa, look at this. It looks like a giant crayon. Do you know what color this is? The color green. <laughs> Let's see. Woo, these look like some fun shapes. This is a triangle. Ooh, and this is also green. And look at the side here. I see another triangle and it's yellow. Oh, and look, there's some blue. <gasps> Do you know what shape this is? <laughs> yeah, it's a rectangle and it's red. Wow, whoa. This half circle kind of looks like a rainbow. <gasps> And it's yellow on the side, one of my favorite colors. <laughs> oh, look at this little green circle. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> wow, two more giant crowns, green and orange. Wow, it's so neat. I wonder what they're for. Oh, look at this big circle. Reminds me of a big donut. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> wow. Wait a second. I get it. It's an obstacle course. But we will need to practice and move our bodies and warm up to do an obstacle course like this. Gymnasts need to warm up and be really flexible so that they can move their bodies easily and not get hurt. <laughs> I see a gymnast over there. Let's go say hi. 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 <laughs> I'm Coach Kelsey. Hi, I'm Mika. Hi, Mika. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Do you work here? I do. I coach preschool gymnastics here. Whoa, a gymnastics coach. That means she knows a lot about gymnastics. <laughs> Would you like to get a lesson today? Yes, please. All right, let's do it. Awesome, come on, let's go. Yes, I'm so excited to learn today. I'm excited to teach you. Now we gotta get ready, so we have to make sure that nothing's in the way. Oh. Do you think you can take off your bag? <laughs> yeah, good idea. All right. <laughs> All right, we're gonna warm up our body so we feel good to get ready for gymnastics. Okay, I can't wait. Do you think you can run like a tiger, fast like a tiger? Oh yeah, I know what a tiger is. Can you be fast like a tiger too? Hurrah, hurrah. Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> that was awesome. Thank you. All right, we're going to jump now like a kangaroo. Oh, okay, jump like a kangaroo. Whoa, this is fun. Nice. Okay, can you guess what I am? Rawr! Whoa, on all fours and growling. Are you a bear? I am a bear. Oh, cool. <laughs> okay, let's see. Rawr! Awesome, let's turn around. Whoa. Nice job. 
All right, we're pretty warmed up. Let's get to stretching. Okay. All right, we're gonna be really, really big. Whoa. Big, like a hippopotamus. <laughs> you're more flexible than me because you're a real gymnast. I've been practicing. <laughs> this is our straddle shape. Okay. Can you try to like a trunk? Can you move your hands like this? Oh, like an elephant. All right, we're gonna put our feet together. Get nice and small. This is our squat. All right, we're gonna go one, two, three, and pop down. One, two, three. This is our pike. Raise up high. Okay. And touch your toes. Whoa. Nice. Oh, it feels really good to stretch. And you can go a little bit further. Nice shape. All right, we're gonna get into our tuck. Okay. All right, hug it like a teddy bear. Get a little rock and roll. When I count to three, we'll do another blast, okay? Oh, a blast, okay. One, <laughs> two, three, blast. Blast. There's our pie. Nice. All right, let's get our hands behind us. Okay. We're gonna bend our knees, and we're gonna push up our belly. You feeling flexible? Yeah. This is our tabletop. Oh yeah, it's like I'm a little coffee table. Yeah, can you wave? Hello. Hello. <laughs> All right, let's do one more shape. This is our hollow. Hollow? Hollow. <laughs> and you point your gymnastics toes. Pointing so go. hard. And then you turn it right into our arch shape, like a seal. Our back is an arch. Oh, that feels good. Ar, ar, ar. All right, we're pretty, we're pretty um, stretched out. Yeah, you ready I for our lesson that. now? Yeah. All right, let's have gymnastics hands oh. on, and let's go. Oh, let's go. <laughs> All right, we got our wall here. We're gonna do some handstands. Handstands on a wall? On a wall, so oh. we can be upside down. Whoa, it's really fun to be upside down. <laughs> like a monkey, okay. Yeah. <laughs> My little guys, we call these wall walkers. Okay. Did you bring your muscles today? <laughs> oh, I right. did. We gotta push the ground and we gotta stay off our head. Okay. So we're gonna hold ourselves up and we're gonna walk the wall as far as you can. Whoa. Right. <laughs> Let's count to three. Okay. One, One two, two, three. Safely put your feet down. You did Whoa, it! That was fun! All right, let's learn another handstand. Okay. So we're gonna learn our lunge shape, one okay. foot in front a little bit, and we're going to kind of raise our hands, lift our tail, like okay. an animal tail. We reach, 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 and here comes your pop! Whoa, okay. Pop! There oh, it is! No, I did it! <laughs> Good handstand! Thank you! And don't forget to say ta-da! Ta-da! I love it. Okay, in gymnastics, we use a springboard, so we have to learn how to run fast. A springboard, what is that? It helps you jump. So at the end of this, I'm gonna show you how we just jump really big and reach up high. Okay, yeah, show me. <laughs> All right, here's our tigers. Okay. So we wanna run fast. We wanna jump and reach up Whoa. high. That looks so fun. Your turn. Okay, ready? <laughs> run on the tiger, jump, oh, ta-da. That was fast. <laughs> Thank you. That was really cool. Do you know what animal this is? Oh yeah, that's an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> so yes. cute. Good job. Okay, elephants like to march. So oh. we're gonna march, march, march. And we're ready to do a cartwheel. Oh, on a block? Yeah, do you see the hand? Yeah, that must be where I would put my hands. Yeah, so what I do is I start that lunge again. Uh -huh. I kind of pat my foot because that's the one I want to reach for. Okay. And then we're going to be like a big old, big old wings, like, like a bird. Wow. So we're going to fly over. Oh, did you see that? Cartwheels are my favorite. I do them all the time. <laughs> but this is the first time I've done one on a block before. There you go. Here we go. Whoa, that was awesome. <laughs> nice cartwheel. Thank you. All right, you did some stuff on the floor. Mm -hmm. In gymnastics, we also do stuff on bars. So let's go check out the bars. Oh, come on. I'm just gonna climb up here. Wow. I'm gonna get super tall like a giraffe. I'm gonna swing. This is called casting. Casting. And once I'm ready, I'm gonna tuck my chin, turn my hands like a motorcycle, and roll. <gasps> Just Whoa, like that. Did you see that? She did a flip around the bar. Oh, okay. I want to try I think now. You're ready. Okay. Okay. So I climb up on the bars like this, and then I hold myself up, 
and woo, I'm casting. Woo. You're doing good. <laughs> okay, now what? You're gonna tuck your chin. You're gonna turn your hands okay. like a motorcycle and okay. roll. Whoa! <laughs> nice, you went upside down. I did, I did the flip around the bar too. <laughs> so we've done bars, we did some gymnastics on the floor. How about jumping on a trampoline? <gasps> yes, I love jumping on a trampoline. All right, let's do it. All right, come on. Whoa. <gasps> wow, this is a really long trampoline. Yeah, we're gonna jump on it. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're gonna jump over something. Ooh, over what? We call them fries. Fries, I love eating fries. <laughs> All right. We got yellow. Oh. Blue. Oh. And orange. They do look like fries. Look, it's like a giant fry. Ooh. Yum. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, let's reach up like you're getting the bananas. Okay. And jump over the fries. And I want you to make sure you stop at the end so you can control your body. Okay. All ready? Right, go for it. Here we go. One, two, three. Good stop. <laughs> Thank you. All right, you'll just come back on the red. Hey. Okay. All right, that was a great jump. I'm gonna move these fries out of the way now. All right. Ooh, I wonder what's next. <laughs> All right, we're gonna be like an alligator, a chomping alligator. Oh, an alligator like this? Chomp, chomp, chomp. We gotta go big. Say straddle. Okay, straddle. Ooh. Nice. And the more you practice, you can get bigger and bigger at those straddles. Oh, gotcha. You're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna jump all the way down and make sure you stop okay. and come back on the red. So my arms will chomp this way for an alligator chomp? Yeah, reach up high and then our legs will be open shut. Whoa. Okay, here I go. Ready? Jump, jump, jump. So we did some cartwheels, some handstands, some jumping. So I think you're ready to do the obstacle course. Really? Yeah, I added a few more things for you to try, but it'll oh, be a lot of fun. Oh, cool. Well, thank you so much for teaching me gymnastics today. Oh, you're welcome. Well, I'll see you nice next time. Nice meeting you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Nice meeting you. Yes. I can't believe she said I'm ready to do the obstacle course all by myself. Ooh, and I wonder what surprises she put in there for me. All right. First things first, balance. Whoa. <gasps> hey, I remember that block. We used that block when we practiced our cartwheels. Okay, ready? <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> Ooh, and I can do a somersault down this triangle. I know how to do those. Whoa. <laughs> Back at the half circle, climb over. <gasps> and the green circle, I could do it. Kangaroo hop. <laughs> okay, climb up and <gasps> the bar. Remember how we learned how to go on the bar? Hold ourselves up and casting, casting. <gasps> then I can go under and bear walk. <laughs> okay, and more balance. I got this, I got this, I got this. Ta-da! <laughs> well, I did the whole thing all by myself. Ooh, there's the tiger mat. Let's run away. I am ready to go. Wow, I had so much fun learning gymnastics today at Spokane Gymnastics in Spokane Valley, Washington. We learned so many things today, like how to warm up our bodies and get flexible and strong. Ooh, it's really important that you have really good balance when you're a gymnast. Wow, we even did the bars. I've never been on bars before. Oh, and the trampoline. And then in the end, I got to do the obstacle course. Oh yeah, and I finished it all by myself. Ha, ta-da! <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. Good job. All right. I'll see you next time. Thanks for learning with me. Bye.
<laughs> hey, it's me, Nika. Today I'm at Discovery Children's Museum in Las Vegas, Nevada. This place has so many fun things to learn about. I love learning about art and science by tinkering with things to see what'll happen. <laughs> That's called an experiment. Yeah, let's do cool experiments together. One, two, three, four. Are you ready to explore? Great, let's go. Whoa, water world. I bet there are some cool experiments here. <gasps> let's move our bodies like water. Come on. <laughs> Whoa! Look at this tall tower! I bet it does something really cool. The ramps help move the water down to these two big circles. Check it out! One circle is yellow, and the other is orange. Ooh, the yellow one is moving a lot faster than the orange one. And look! Let's count the ramps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven ramps. Oh, and look, some balls. Huh, I wonder what'll happen if we put the ball in here. Let's try it. <laughs> Whoa! Check it out. The green ball is moving on the ramp. Let's see where it goes. Wow! It's a ball pit! There are so many colorful balls in here. Red and yellow and green, too. <laughs> that was so amazing. Water can do so many things, like make sounds. What is that sound? Let's go find out. <laughs> wow! Check out these musical chimes. Huh, I wonder how we can make it make music. Let's experiment and find out. Oh, do you hear that? <laughs> yeah. Oh. The water is hitting the ball and the chimes and making music. Clink, 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 clink. <laughs> That is so cool. <laughs> oh, and look at this one over here. Hmm, these chimes are a little different. I wonder what sounds they'll make. Oh, uh -huh. Whoa. oh it makes a sound when it's in the water, too. Sounds like a rushing river. <laughs> okay, let's flow over there. <laughs> Whoa! Check out these wheels! Hmm, they have different shapes. I wonder what that means. <laughs> I got it! Let's do a race! All right, back it up! Back it up! Are you ready? On your mark, get set, go! And they're off! All right, they're going fast! <gasps> wow, the one with the cups is going much faster! <laughs> Cool. Hey, I wonder what that is. Whoa, I wonder what these are for. Hmm. <gasps> Check it out. This one looks like slices of pizza. I'd like a slice. <laughs> Let's see what happens when we do this. Oh, wow. It turns the water into different shapes and it comes out different ways. Let's try this one next. <laughs> Check it out, it's a fountain. <laughs> the harder I press, the higher it goes. Whoa! <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, and look at these wheels. Hmm, I wonder what happens if we spin them. Wow, do you see those bubbles? Cool. Let's spin them together. Oh, it frick, it frick, it frick, it frick. DJ Nika coming to a pool near you. Wow! Look at the water. It's spinning.
in and around and around and around. <gasps> this is a whirlpool. It's kind of like a tornado, but with water. A tornado has air spinning around, and a whirlpool has water. Hey, let's pretend to be a whirlpool and spin around. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, I'm a little dizzy. <gasps> oh, let's see what'll happen when we put this red ball in there. Ready, set, go! <laughs> wow! It went woo -woo -woo, all the way to the bottom. Let's try two balls now. Yellow and red. In you go. Wow! Ooh, let's try three balls now. One red, one green, and another red. There you go. Ready, set. Do you think we should try four? <laughs> yeah. Let's do it. Here we go. Are you ready? Are you set? Whirl away! <laughs> wow, that was so cool. Okay, let's whirl over there. Do you see the yellow car behind me? I wonder how it works. Hmm, oh look. It has blue straps that are attached with hooks. I think the blue straps are so you can lift the car up. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, look. Pick it up lever. <laughs> yeah. This must be a lever experiment. Ooh, let's go check it out. The bar balances the weight so that you can lift it with little effort. <laughs> oh, should we lift this car with the lever? <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Oh, I wonder what'll happen when I pull this rope. Let's see. Whoa! <laughs> I lifted the car all by myself. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. We did it, we did it. We never ever quit it. We did it. <laughs> wow, levers are pretty cool. <gasps> hey, check out those stairs. I wonder where they lead. Let's go find out. Oh. Oh, this is a music room. Did you know when you hear a sound, it moves through your ear canal and makes vibrations that tell your brain what you're hearing? <laughs> yeah, very cool. And look, this room has so many things we can make music with and different sounds. Let's give it a try. Oh, I wonder what would happen if we pressed this yellow button. <laughs> Let's find out. Whoa! Check it out! This has air! Oh, let's put it over here. Look! It's a music note. The note E. <laughs> Let's try this green one. Oh, that's the note. Okay, Blue, what do you have? <gasps> Archie! Okay, Purple. this shape is? That's right, it's a triangle. Triangles have three sides. One, two, three. And they can make music too. <laughs> Let's give it a shot. Whoa, oh, that sounds awesome. <laughs> Check it out, this is so colorful. Hmm, what happens if we hit this with this yellow stick? Let's see. Oh, another note. Wow, let's drag it across. <laughs> so 
cool. <gasps> Whoa! Look, it's drums. Hmm, let's count how many drums there are. One, two, three, four, five drums. Oh, this beat makes me want to move my feet. Hey, I got it. Let's make a song. I'll give us a beat. Hey, I'm Mika, and I'm here to say I love exploring and tinkering away. Hey. Give it a shot, try it out, see what it's about. <laughs> Drum roll, please, for the grand finale. Yeah! Whoa! This place is so colorful. <laughs> I bet they have lots of things to tinker around with here. <laughs> What's this? Hmm, it kind of looks like a chalkboard. Let's confirm. <laughs> yep, a chalkboard. <laughs> Great job, scientist. <laughs> <gasps> and look, it rotates. That means it spins. Let's spin and draw. That was fun. Let's keep exploring. <laughs> wow. Let's draw on this. <laughs> Whoa. Look. <laughs> Do you know what color this is? <laughs> yeah, yellow. One of my favorite colors. Ooh, let's erase now. <laughs> oh, erase. Now let's draw with this color. Do you know what it is? <laughs> yeah, blue. Hmm, let's see if you can guess what this is. Can you guess? Yeah, they're waves, just like down in Water World. <laughs> okay, what else did we draw? <gasps> hey, I know. Let's draw some shapes. <laughs> I like yellow. Do you know what this is? <laughs> yeah, a triangle, just like when we were playing the triangles. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> okay, how about this one? <laughs> yeah, it's an oval. <laughs> okay, one more. <laughs> Do you know what shape this is? <laughs> That's right, it's a shining star. <laughs> okay, let's erase and keep exploring. <laughs> Whoa, what's this? Oh, we can build something out of these pieces. <laughs> let's give it a try. Ooh, I wonder what's in here. <laughs> Whoa! This is really bendy. <laughs> Ooh, let's make another bridge. Two bridges. <laughs> Ooh, let's make a third bridge. Wow! Okay, those connect there. Hmm, I think I need a couple more pieces. This'll work. One more. <laughs> there we go. Whoa, look at all these bridges. <laughs> Let's go through it. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I've got it. Let's make a flower garden. <laughs> Ooh, this could be a rose. <gasps> and this can be a daisy. <laughs> Perfect little flower garden. <laughs> Check out all this art. <laughs> Whoa. <gasps> Look, a beach ball. <gasps> okay, I'm gonna throw it to you, friend. Ready, set. Oh, awesome catch. Okay, throw it back to me. Whoa. <laughs> Good job. Check out these instruments. Let's play them. <laughs> oh, and look, a 
guitar. Cluck, cluck, cluck. Ding, 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 ding. <gasps> Do you see that dog? <laughs> yeah, it must be someone's pet. Oh, good girl. <laughs> well, that was fun. <laughs> Whoa, this place is amazing. We learned so much by doing experiments and trying things out for ourselves. We played with water. We lifted a whole car with a lever. And we tinkered around with some music and art. We did a lot. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. OK, friends. See you later. Bye-bye. Woo! Whoa. OK. Balance. Balance. Oh, here comes a big wave. Oh, whoa. Yeah. Hey, I'm Mika. And today, I'm at the Southern California Children's Museum in Pasadena, California. And look. Whoa. I'm surfing. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, I didn't know how to surf before, but then I got a lesson from a teacher. Hey, I have an idea. Splash. I should be a teacher. Teachers have a really important job because they help guide their students through learning. What do you think? Would you like to be a teacher with me? Oh, great. Oh, there are so many cool subjects we can learn about. <laughs> Let's get started. OK, if I'm going to be a teacher, I need some students. Let's see what I have in my jam pack today. Oh, it's Vila the Bee. Introduce yourself, Vila. Hello, I'm Vila. Nice to see ya. <laughs> hey, Vila, would you like to be a student today? Yes, I love to learn. <laughs> oh, great. Did you know bees have a very important job? Mm-hmm, and we're gonna learn about it in our first lesson. Yes, that's right, Vila. We're going to learn about science. Science is learning about the world around you through observing, testing, and experimenting. <laughs> oh, and look, we're at a pollination station. Bees have a very important job. Do you know what that is? That's right. They help pollinate the plants. Hey, Vila, would you like to demonstrate to the class how it's done? OK, lead the way. Buzz. Whoa. Buzz. Buzz. Whoa, did you know bees communicate and talk to each other by dancing? <laughs> I love to dance. How does it work, Bila? Oh, bees do a dance called swaggle. Waggle. And that lets other bees know, hey, there's a flower nearby with lots of pollen. Right, Bila? Oh, that's right. Awesome job, class. <laughs> All right, class, for my next scientific exploration, I'm going to make Bila a beehive. Oh, I can use these cool shapes. Hmm, whoa. This could be a, maybe a slide for the bees. And whoa, these are kind of cool. Maybe I could use those. And oh, these circles will be the perfect honeycombs. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I have a plan and I'm ready to get started. I made 
give you a throne. So you can be Queen Bila. You can sit there. <laughs> Is it comfy? Yes. <laughs> and look. Buzz. I made you a slide. Ready? I'll hold your hand on the way down. Here we go. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, class. What should we learn about next? <gasps> I know. I'll give you a hint. <laughs> One, two, three. That's right. Our next subject is math. <laughs> Here we go. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> math is learning about numbers and shapes. Okay, class, are you ready for your math lesson? Okay, take your seats and get out your pencils. All right, first, let's count the cars. Ready? Will you count with me? Oh, great, you're such wonderful students. One, two, three. Three cars and a car has four wheels. Will you count the wheels with me? Okay. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Four wheels. Awesome job. <laughs> oh, and check it out. There are two more cars at the top. <gasps> hey. Let's count all of the cars. Ready, class? One, two, <laughs> three, four, whoa, <laughs> five. Five cars total. <gasps> I have an idea. Let's race the two at the top. Come on, Vila. Wonderful day here at the Mini Speedway. A beautiful day for racing. All right, our drivers are all set and ready to go. On your mark, get set, start your engines. Woo! <laughs> Whoa, that was awesome. Great counting. <laughs> Check out these mountains. Hey class, did you know that there are mountains deep down in the bottom of the ocean? <laughs> yeah, in fact, some islands are actually the tops or peaks of mountains. Oh, what do you think? Should I climb up way to the top of this mountain? <gasps> I'm a little nervous. Okay, let's give it a try. Hey! We can count the steps on our way. Here we go. Ready, Bila? Buzz. <laughs> Here we go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Getting higher. Five, six, seven. Whoa. I can see the valley down below. Eight, nine, ten. 10 steps to the top. <gasps> hey, speaking of 10, this calls for a 10 second dance break. Ready, Bila? <gasps> we did it, we did it, we never ever quit it. We did it. <gasps> oh, and check it out. There's a slide. Let's go down the slide. <laughs> Whee! Woohoo! <laughs> hey, there's another slide. We should definitely go down. But first, let's put a flag to say that we've been to the top. Da 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 da! <gasps> I know. I'll name this mountain Mika's Majestic Mountain Top. All right, let's go down. Woohoo! Whee! <laughs> oh, what's that, Bila? Oh, Bila would like to do a dance too. Okay, Bila. Hit it, waggle, and shake. 
Buzz, 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 dance break. <laughs> Great job, Vila. Art is when you use your imagination and creativity through painting and writing, music, and so much more. Whoa, check out this amazing art gallery. There are so many colorful creations. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> Hello. Oh, this looks like some curly, colorful hair. Awesome. Oh, and look. Bah, bah. Wow, I like this tissue paper for hair. That's so creative. Now that I have some inspiration from the art gallery, I think I know what I want to create. Okay, sit right there and I'll draw you. Oh, but I need a marker. <laughs> there we go. Okay, first I'll start with your head. <laughs> and then we'll do your body. Oh, okay, I think I'm ready to glue your eyes. Oh, this glue is so sticky. <laughs> Ooh, stars. Yeah, I definitely want some stars on there. I'll put it all over. What's that, Bila? <gasps> right, I need your antenna. I'm ready to cut you up. I'll use some of this scrap piece of paper to make some wings. Check it out, Vila. Look, <laughs> it's you. Yeah, looks pretty identical, I'd say. <laughs> okay, class, art dismissed. Let's buzz on out of here. Whoa, we learned so much today. We had a busy, buzzy day. The class, now it's time for recess. <laughs> Are you ready to play? Yeah, me too. <gasps> hey, I see some fun over this way. <laughs> Come on, Vila. learn how to surf? Okay, I'll teach you how. Okay, first you want to swim out, paddle out deep into the ocean. And then when you feel the ocean push you forward, you want to hop up on your board, whoa, and balance, and ride the wave. <laughs> Hang 10. <laughs> okay, Bila, are you ready to give it a shot? Sure, buzz. <laughs> okay, friend, paddle out. Swim, swim, swim. Yay, great job, Bila. Okay, do you feel the ocean push you forward? Hop up on your board. Yeah, balance and ride that wave. <laughs> wow, Bila, that was Epic. <laughs> Whoa, we did so much today. Teachers have such an important job because they teach their students lots of interesting facts. What did we learn today? One, two, three, can you tell me? <laughs> yeah, we learned that bees do a certain dance to pollinate. Oh, and we also learned so much about science and math and art. It was an awesome day and you're such a wonderful student. 
Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Oh, great. <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. Okay, friends, see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> hey, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at Montebello Barnyard Zoo in Montebello, California. And I heard they have animals here and a fairy village. <laughs> so I'm going to be a fairy and grant wishes to any animals or fairies I see. I have my fairy wings on and my magic fairy wand. Will you help grant wishes with me? Awesome! Hmm, let's go find that fairy village. <laughs> Hey, horsey, I'm Mika. Nice to meet ya. <laughs> We're looking for fairies. <gasps> hey, should we grant this horse a wish? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I need some space. Mika's here with the plan. Your fairy wish is my command. <laughs> Look, horse food. <laughs> here you go, horsey. Your wish is granted. <laughs> okay, see ya. I haven't seen any fairies yet, but check it out. Goats. Hello, goats. I'm Mika. Nice to meet ya. <laughs> Ooh, did you know goats have four stomachs? <laughs> yeah, that's why they're so hungry. <laughs> Do you know where the fairies are? Okay, let's keep going east. I haven't found those fairies yet. Oh, but I have a great idea. Check it out, a tractor. Let's go on a ride to the fairy village. Hey, I'm Mika, nice to meet ya. <laughs> Can you take me east to the fairy village? Oh, great. Come on, let's take a seat. This looks like a great seat for a tractor ride. Oh, here we go! Whoa! There's so many animals. Hi, llamas! Oh, look! There are three llamas. <laughs> they look so cozy and all that fur. Oh, and look! An emu! That's a flightless bird from Australia. <laughs> Whoa, it's a bumpy ride. <laughs> oh, and look, some horses. Hello, horse. <gasps> look, a merry-go-round. Oh, that looks like so much fun. Okay, hocus focus, we're looking for fairies. That could be pretty fun. Maybe later. I think we're getting closer to the fairy village. Oh, I can't wait to meet so many fairies. <laughs> yeah, we finally made it to the fairy village. We did it, we did it. We never ever quit it. We did it. <laughs> Great job. Whoa, check it out. Look at this. Oh, it's a little forest for fairies. And look, a table and chair for their yummy lunches. Oh, and they got lots of fresh fruits and vegetables. <laughs> oh, and a bridge over glittery water. And a squirrel. <laughs> Hello, squirrel. Let's keep exploring. Whoa! Look, a door. Hmm, I wonder where it leads. Let's knock on it. Knock, knock, knock. Is anybody home? <laughs> oh, just a little gnome. Hello. <laughs> oh, and look, more fairies. Hello, little fairies. I'm Mika, nice to meet you. <laughs> 
since you're always doing so much for people, like sprinkling fairy dust and collecting teeth and gems. Do you need anything? Oh, you would like a home? <laughs> Lucky for you, I'm really crafty. I know just what you need. Mika's here with the plan. Your fairy wish is my command. <laughs> Coming right up. <laughs> Let's go. <gasps> we need to build our fairies a little home. <gasps> hmm. I have just the trick. Mika's here with the plan. Your every wish is my command. <gasps> Whoa! Look at this house. This is a perfect house for a fairy. Are you ready to paint our fairy house? <laughs> yeah, me too. Wow, there are so many colors for us to choose. Blue, green, like grass, pink, purple, and yellow. And check it out. My two favorite colors are together. We should definitely start with those. Grab my paintbrush. Oh, do you know what this color is? <laughs> That's right, pink. Dip it in water first and dip it in the purple paint. This will be such a cozy home for the fairies. I hope they like it. <laughs> okay, let's do yellow next. Yellow, just like the sun. That looks so pretty. <laughs> and bright too. Okay, we got the front. Let's work on the roof. I think I'd like the roof to be blue, just like the sky. Let's do pink with our pink paintbrush. Whoa, we're almost done. Check it out. Oh, such a beautiful fairy home. Let's do the sides now. Hmm, what color haven't we done yet? <gasps> green. Let's put some green on our house. Dip my brush. <gasps> Check it out. This is such a beautiful, colorful fairy home. <laughs> Let's go see if they love their new house. <laughs> Hello, little fairies. We made you a beautiful, colorful home. <laughs> Hope you like it. What's that? You love it? Oh, that's great news. Do you have everything you need? <gasps> oh, you would like us to help you collect gems? Oh, okay, I got it. Mika's here with the plan. Your every wish is my command. Wow, great idea. Let's go collect some gems for our fairy friends. See you soon. We made it. <laughs> Let's go get some stones for our fairy friends. <laughs> oh, look. These are the different stones we can find. Amethyst and calcite. Whoa, I wonder how many stones we'll find. Ooh, water. All right, I have my mining tray. Do you know what this color is? That's right, it's yellow, one of my favorite colors. And it's round, just like a steering wheel. <laughs> this helps us sift through all the dirt. So we get rid of what we don't want, the dirt, and then we get our crystals inside. Ready to give it a try? <laughs> Great. Whoa, check out this dirt. Check it out. <laughs> Look how many gems we got. <gasps> Ooh, I think this one is rose quartz and it's pink. Pretty. <gasps> Check out this one. Wow. 
And this one is black. <laughs> and little. Let's count how many gems we found. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven gins for our fairy friends. Let's go give them to our fairy friends. <laughs> Here we go. Don't worry, little fairies. We collected all the gems so you can rest and relax. <laughs> you get a gem. And you get a gem, little froggy. <laughs> and you get a gem, too. <laughs> oh, would you like a gem, too? Okay, I have plenty to share. Oh, I love giving. It makes me feel so happy. <laughs> Would you like a gem too, little gnome? <laughs> okay, there you go. And you get a gem too. Hope you're enjoying your new home. <gasps> oh, check it out. Look at this little fairy. She's taking a nap. <laughs> Let's leave her a crystal for when she wakes up. Sleep tight, little fairy. <laughs> that was so much fun being a fairy with you today. We got to pet some animals and feed them lunch. Oh, we got to mine for gems and we painted a fairy house. <laughs> Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. Wait, I forgot to grant one more wish. Mine. Hmm. Oh, I would like to ride this merry-go-round. Mika's here with the plan. Your fairy wish is my command. Bye-bye! <laughs> hey, it's me, Mika! And today I'm at Munchkin's Indoor Playground in Los Angeles, California. This place is so awesome because you get to move your body and have a lot of fun. And we get to play a game today. Come on. Whoa, this place is amazing. It's slide time. Meet you at the bottom. Whoa, <laughs> that was so fast. Did you see? Oh, and I landed in a ball pit. Whoa, ball pits are so so fun! Ooh, and I like all of these colors. Let's see. <gasps> Pink. <laughs> and there's blue. And white. There's so much you can do in a ball pit. You can dance. You could juggle. Whoa, I only know how to juggle two balls. I don't know how to do three yet. I have to keep practicing. <laughs> hey, look over here. Whoa, at the very top, it looks like a big scoop of ice cream or maybe a marshmallow or something. Oh, and there's a cool looking pattern on it. White, blue, white, blue, white, blue, white, blue, all the way around. Oh, I like that. Ooh, let's go inside. Hello. <laughs> Oh, this is a fun little space. Hmm. Whoa, look at this. This ball has words on it. Oh, let's read it. Go to the slide for an item to catch and find the play area that looks like it's match. A match, that means that it looks the same. Hmm, hey. Looks like we get to exercise our bodies and our minds. <laughs> this is gonna be a really good game for the mind. Hmm, go to the slide. There must be another slide here. Let's go find it. Oh, this has 
to be the other slide. I wonder what's gonna happen here that will help me play the game. <gasps> Look! Whoa! Have you seen this before? It's a stethoscope. Maybe you've seen one at the doctor's office? Yeah, a doctor will use this to listen to your heartbeat. Oh yeah, nice and healthy. <laughs> I wonder if there's a doctor center around here. Let's go find out. Hmm, I wonder where this stethoscope goes. Oh, look at this cool thing. Oh, hello. Oh, let's look up here. Hmm, I don't think this is where our stethoscope belongs. <laughs> it's really fun though. Whoa, hmm. <gasps> hey look, mini clinic. We found it. This is a doctor's office. The stethoscope definitely belongs there. Come on. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, hello, welcome. Do you have an appointment? You're, oh, yep, you're right there. Come on in. <laughs> Doctors and nurses are so cool and very important. They take care of us and make sure we're feeling nice and healthy. They check your heartbeat. See what kind of tools are in here. Ooh, they'll probably look at your eyes and look inside your ears. <laughs> and sometimes they have you stick your tongue out and say, ah. Ooh, and look, there's some glasses. Ooh, one of my favorite colors too, yellow. And look, you can dress up like a doctor. So official. And a little hat. Oh, how do I look? Dr. Mika. <laughs> okay, so this is definitely where the stethoscope goes. Okay, let's just clean up and go back to the slide. Come on. I'm so excited to see what the next item is. <gasps> Here it comes. Whoa. <gasps> Do you know what this is? It's a tomato. Ooh, one of my favorites. Yum. <laughs> hmm. I wonder if there's a grocery store or something here. Let's go look. Whoa, a carousel. Oh, look at this nice orange one. Let's get on. Oh, hello, horsey. I'm Mika. Hmm, I wonder how this thing works. That's not it. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Whoa, this is fun. Hey, what a cool way to look for a space where the tomato belongs. Hmm, let me know if you see something. <gasps> right there! A supermarket! This is definitely where the tomato belongs. <gasps> hey, look down here! More food! Yeah, a supermarket or a grocery store is where you can buy food, like a tomato. Hmm, what are some other red foods? <gasps> Ooh, what about this red pepper? Yummy. Hmm. Oh, here's another red pepper. And, oh, I love this red food. Strawberries. <laughs> I'm gonna have a red meal. Hmm. Ooh, more strawberries. And an apple. Okay. Now I have all of my food. I have to pay for it. Let's go inside. <laughs> Come on. Do, 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 do. Okay. Oh. All right, let's see. Oh, I guess I can ring up my own items. Hmm. All right, bell pepper. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, interesting. <laughs> strawberries. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> okay. More strawberries. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, now we're cooking. Pepper. Beep, beep, beep. Ooh. Apple. Beep, beep, beep. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And tomato. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, yeah. Now we're grooving. How am I going to pay for this food? I don't know, but I'm in a good mood. <laughs> oh, it looks like I have a credit card here. Let's see. My grand total is... <laughs> Okay, let's see. Okay, that worked. All right, don't need any change. I think I'm done here. <laughs> okay, so the tomato is with the food. 
Good job matching with me. Hey, let's go back to the slide and see what else comes down. Come on. I'm having so much fun. I wonder what the next item will be. Whoa, look at this. A firefighter helmet. Yeah, firefighters will wear a helmet like this to protect their heads when they're fighting fires. Huh, I wonder what kind of area would have a firefighter helmet. <laughs> Let's go find out. Whoa, did you find where the firefighter helmet belongs? <laughs> Good job, looks like a match. See, there's a fire truck and firefighters drive fire trucks to where the fire is to put it out and save the day. <laughs> this is a really cool truck. Oh, see the big ladder and ooh, a walkie talkie. Firefighter Mika here, over. Yes, that is correct, everything is fine here. Yes, have a good day. Okay, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And look, here's where the siren is so people know that a fire truck is on the way. It sounds like something like that. <laughs> okay, let's see, I'll put this firefighter helmet here that way, if someone wants to play, they can be the driver and wear the firefighter helmet and look like a real firefighter. <laughs> Let's go back to the slide and see what the next item is. Come on. Yes, so far, so good. And I think there's another item about to come down. <gasps> Whoa, oh, that was fast. Ooh, what is this, Gouda? <laughs> That's kind of cheese, one of my favorites. <laughs> oh, do you know what letter that is? It's the first letter of the alphabet. <laughs> That's right, the letter A. Hmm, I wonder if there are more letters around here. Let's go look. Okay, I have the letter A. I wonder if there are any other letters around. Hmm. Oh, I see letters in there. Let's go inside. <gasps> Whoa, it's a trampoline. <laughs> All right, let's see. I have the letter A, and there's B, C, D. This is definitely where the letter A goes. Hey, I know what we could do. We could think of an animal that begins with the letter A, and then we could act it out. <laughs> hmm, I have one. Ant eater. <laughs> Can you act like an ant eater? They do, in fact, eat ants. They have really long nose and mouth and they go around and they look for ants. Any ants over here? Nom, 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 nom. Any ants over here? Nom, 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 nom. Hey, give me that ant back. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> oh, and the next letter, the letter B. Ooh, I know one, a bat. Let's act like bats together. Bats begin with the letter B. Spread your wings and fly like a bat. Or jump, whoa, kind of feels like I'm flying for real. <laughs> and the letter C. Cat begins with the letter C. Hmm, how can we act like cat? Get your little paws out and meow, 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 meow. Whoa, calm down cat, calm down cat. What about the letter D? The animal starts with the letter D. <gasps> dog! Can you act like a dog with me? Okay. <laughs> Good job! Now you can just jump and bounce and have, whoa, fun! <laughs> hey! Bounce begins with the letter B. <laughs> Let's go back to the slide and see if there are any more items. Come on. Whoa, these slides are so cool. I wonder if anything else will slide down. <gasps> oh, look, it's one of the ball pit balls. I wonder if we need to go to the other ball pit. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> oh yeah, we definitely need to go to the other ball pit. Let's go. Okay, let's go find that ball pit. Come on. Whoa, a big white slide. Oh, I have to 
to go down. Ready? Three, two, one. Woo! <laughs> that was so fast. Do you see the ball pit? It's behind me? Whoa! Let's find a fun way to get into it. <laughs> Hello! Whoa! Look at this! It's a big slide! All right, I'm going down. See you at the bottom. Whoa! <laughs> I love that there are two ball pits in this indoor playground. Whoa! Oh, we just swim on over. <laughs> Whoa! This is so fun. This is definitely where the white ball belongs. There you go. <laughs> hey, look at this wall. See the two colors? Pink and blue? And it makes a pattern, see? Pink, blue. Pink, blue. Do you know what the next color is? <laughs> That's right, pink. Hey, look at that little car. It's so cute. And there's three more ball pit balls. There's a pink one, and a white one, and a blue one. And there's words on this one. Let's see. You've finished the game, now count all you've done, then go down the slide for some extra fun. Whoa, that means we finished the game. We did it, we did it, we really, really did it. Oh, awesome. Okay, it says count all you've done. Do you remember the items that we found? Okay, we found the stethoscope, the tomato, the firefighter helmet, the letter A, and a ball pit ball. Will you count the items with me? <laughs> Great. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. And then it says, Go down the slide for some extra fun. Well, let's go down the slide. Come on. Yes, now it's my turn to go down the slide. Will you count down with me? Okay, three, two, one. Woo! Whoa! <laughs> wow, that was so much fun. Hey, we figured everything out. We did it. We did it. We did it. Oh, yeah, we did it. Let's go. High five. <laughs> nice job. Thank you so much for helping me with that matching game. We exercised our minds by figuring out which play center matches which item, and we exercise our bodies by running around this indoor playground. <laughs> that was a lot of fun, and thank you for learning with me. Well, that's the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at the Intrepid Museum in New York City. Check it out. The Intrepid is so big. It's an aircraft carrier that can have airplanes land on it. That's how big it is. <laughs> Let's go inside and explore. Come on. Check it out, we're at the Concorde. This is one of the very first supersonic airplanes. Do you know what that means? That means that this plane goes faster than the speed of sound. We get to go inside and check it out. Come on. I got you. There you go, you can get it after. Oh, well thank you. <laughs> oh, you wanna, oh yeah. Of course, yes. Oh, can you just, mm-hmm. Thank you. Oh, hi. <laughs> I'm Mika, your flight attendant on Supersonic Airlines. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just Mika. I'm just playing. <laughs> this plane is so cool. Check out the seats. Ooh. You can rest your arm and just relax on your flight. <laughs> Did you know that this plane holds the world record for fastest flight from New York to London? It got to London in under three hours. That's really, 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 really fast. <laughs> hey, wanna go check out the cockpit? Let's go. Hi, 
I'm First Officer Mika. <laughs> a First Officer assists the pilot. But there's no pilot. Hmm, let's see. Let me just give a little call here. Hello? Hi, yes, it's First Officer Mika, and we don't have a pilot. Mm hmm. No, I'm looking right now. There's no pilot. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> Oh, this is so cool to be in the cockpit. There's so many different buttons and controls, and this is the steering wheel. It controls the wings of the airplane. <sighs> oh, look at all of these circles. See? There's a lot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, this, it says visor nose. This controls the nose of the airplane. It can either go down or it can go up. You have to know a lot to fly a plane. What else? Oh, see the wheel button? The wheels make sure you go in for a nice, smooth landing. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Whoa, what else is in here? Whoa, all these little numbers look like something you'd see on a telephone. Ooh, and this is the throttle. This is how you can go fast or slow. So you wanna go so fast, you wanna go so slow. <laughs> hmm. Wow. I wonder how long it takes to learn what all of these buttons and controls do. Ooh, ooh. Can we just get ready here? Are you ready to fly with me? Awesome, let's count down together. Three, two, one, fly! Woo! Let's go even faster! Woohoo! Here we are on the flight deck! This place is amazing! We're up high, we can see a lot of the New York City skyline, and look at these amazing planes! This is where planes would take off and where they would land, but it's actually not long enough, so they would use a device to catapult planes into the sky! Isn't that so cool? <laughs> Whoa, look at that plane. Oh, I see a helicopter. Oh, they're just hanging out on the flight deck. That's where the planes hang. And they have these beautiful views. <laughs> what? There's someone on one of the planes? <gasps> You're right. Hi. Hi. Let's go get a closer look. Hey. Hi, come on up. Thank you. Whoa! Hi, I'm Mika. Hi, Mika. I'm Jen. Hi, Jen. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So what do you do here? So I am a museum educator, which means that I teach all kinds of people, students, children, adults coming into the museum. Awesome. So you must know a lot about planes. I do. Well, if I'm in the front here, does that mean that I'm the pilot? You are a pilot, but you are still learning how to be a pilot. So you're technically a student driver. Oh, okay. So then would you be the pilot or the instructor? I would be the instructor. So I would be back here and I could take control of the plane if I needed to. Oh, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I really like the look of this plane. I love the colors. I can see red and white and blue. Absolutely, the red, white, and blue let other planes know that this is an American airplane. And also the red and white, they're high visibility. So it lets people know that you're still learning how to be a pilot. Oh, that's a great idea. Mm -hmm. Well, it's so cool that I get to be inside of this airplane. Yeah. <laughs> would you like to go inside of a helicopter? Yes, I would. All right, uh, let's go. Okay, let's go. Wow. This is amazing. Yeah. So this is our Sea Guardian helicopter. It was used by the Coast Guard to help rescue people out in the ocean. Wow, that's super important. Absolutely. And you'll notice here we have pontoons, one pontoons. here and one on the other side. And then the shape of the front of the helicopter matches that of a boat so yeah. that it can land directly on the water. Whoa, this helicopter can land on water? Absolutely, That's it can. really cool. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. You're also gonna notice that we've got colors. We've got red and white, similar to the Mentor that we were just in. Yeah, I was just gonna say, we were just in a red and white plane. Yeah, so same colors, both so that they can be high visibility so people notice them, but fit different reasons. The Mentor over there is high visibility so people stay away from you because you're right. learning, new, new learning to drive. Uh -huh. And this one is high visibility so that people know to flag you down so that you can help them. 
Yeah, that makes Absolutely. sense. Absolutely. Wow, what a helpful and useful helicopter. Yeah, in fact, the way it helps people, you'll notice the hook right up here. There's a basket inside. We could connect to that hook to lower down into the water. Wow, yeah, let's go see what the basket looks Absolutely. like. Absolutely, come on in. Okay. Wow, look, it looks like a giant basket you would use to get groceries. Yeah, you need it to fit people in there, so it needs to be a big basket. Yeah, it is mm -hmm. really big. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is so cool. Thanks for showing me. Yeah, you can see the hole right here that would connect to the hook. Oh, yeah. And we even have some floats on either side of the basket to help it float when it drops down into the water. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Well, before you let me pretend to fly the airplane, did. did I pretend to fly this helicopter? Absolutely, let's go. <gasps> yes, let's do it. Check out the cockpit in this helicopter. Yeah, all kinds of different controls in here. Yeah, there's a lot going on. I see a lot of circles and buttons and knobs. Absolutely, but the three things that you're gonna use to really steer this, mm -hmm. you have your pedals yeah. down on the floor, okay. just like you would in a car. You have your joystick right here oh, that's going to... You have one too. I have one too. All right. And then you have this control right here, which lifts up and down to help lift the helicopter up and down. Whoa, so you use your feet on the pedals. Mm -hmm. You hold on to this. What did you call it? Joystick. Joystick. And you have this controller too? Absolutely. You're that's doing a lot. lot. <laughs> that seems like a really hard job. It is. It's really complicated. Wow. <laughs> yep. And then when you want to land, we have landing gear, just like we would on a plane. So that control is oh. right here. Yeah, I'm gonna see flip it. it up. Now, you're not always going to have the landing gear down for this one because remember it lands on the water. So oh, we're not right. gonna use our wheels when we're landing on the water. Oh, so we don't even need that? Not all not the time. If we're landing not on water. if we're landing on water, absolutely. Oh, cool. And then yeah. I've seen this before in a car, parking brake. Yep, so that does help when you're on land to just make sure it doesn't go rolling away anywhere. Wow, very smart. Absolutely. Oh, I feel like an official helicopter flyer. <laughs> you're doing great. <laughs> hey, well, we'll see you soon. Jen and I have a big landing coming up. Are you ready? Yeah, let's, let's land do this. this thing. Yes. Woo! Oh, cool. This looks like a map of the Intrepid. Yeah, you can see the entire length of the ship. It is as long as three football fields lined up end to end. Whoa, that is really, really long. We did some serious walking today. Definitely, a lot of exercise, a lot of steps. Wow, well, I'm gonna keep exploring, but it was so nice meeting you, Jen, and thank you for showing me all of this. Absolutely, it was nice showing you around and have fun. Oh, thanks. See ya. Bye. Let's go. Hey, look behind me. It's the Intrepid. Well, it's a model of the Intrepid made out of Legos. Isn't that cool? Let's get a closer look. Whoa, this is amazing. There's so much to look at. Oh, I see people, workers and helpers. You know, you can know what kind of job someone has based off of the color of their uniform. So, oh. Like right here, brown. And see, this person's wearing brown too. They are pilots. And oh, this friend right here in green. <laughs> and there's another one. If you're wearing green, you help direct the planes. You help with takeoff and landing. Oh. Oh, look at these two. These are two officers. Hello, officer. Hello, officer. Good to see you. <laughs> Old friends. <laughs> Let's keep looking. Oh, hello. <laughs> <gasps> These two people are wearing purple. One of my favorite colors. They have really cool jobs. They refuel the planes or they juice up the planes. And because they wear purple and they juice up the planes, they have really cool nicknames. They call them the grapes. <laughs> this is amazing. I wonder what else is here. Let's go find out. Oh, this looks like a comfy, cozy spot. There's three bunks. Do you know who would sleep here? The sailors! Oh, let's try it out. Ah. Whoa. Can you imagine if you're on a bunk bed for three people? You have a friend here, you have a friend down there. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> That'd be such a fun sleepover. Ah. Oh, I bet there's more to go see. Come on. Let's go that way. <laughs> oh, 
This is the part of the ship for different ways to communicate to other people in ships. Like, here's the other end of the voice tube. Hello! <laughs> oh, and over here, it says Morse code. Let's see. Type your name in Morse code. Yeah, did you hear that? It's a way to communicate with other people that are super far away. So, hmm, I'll spell my name. If it's a long line like that, you hold it down. And if it's a dot like that, it's... Okay, so Mika. M. E. E. K. A. H. Mika! If anyone is wondering. <laughs> oh, and this big light is another way to communicate with people on ships super far away. Let's see. Whoa, that's a really bright light. You could probably even see it through a really foggy night. Hello! Check out these red paddles. One, two. They're kind of like ping pong paddles. Well, they're super cool and helpful because it's another way to communicate. Pilots needed to be able to land safely, so they relied on signal landing officers like me. Let's see. Uh, let's try this one. It says, wave off, do not land. Do not land. <laughs> or this one that means, too high, you're too high. Or too low, you're too low, buddy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, here's another way to communicate with signal flags. Let's see. Uh, I want to tell that ship over there, the pizza has been delivered. My work here is done. Huh, something cool over here. Looks like a person wearing a green shirt. Hey, we saw something like this on the model of the Intrepid, do you remember? If someone's wearing a green shirt, they help the planes take off and land. You're doing a great job. Smooth landing. <laughs> cool. Oh, there's another one over here. Do you know what color shirt this is? It's white. Yep, this is a landing signal officer. Hey, that's like the one I just did with the red paddles. That was a landing signal officer. Hello, I'm a landing signal officer. I, I don't think they sang, but. Oh, this one is wearing a blue shirt. If you're wearing a blue shirt, you're a plane handler and you move the aircraft around the flight deck. Hi! <laughs> what kind of job would you want to have? They had so many different jobs on the Intrepid. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> what a fun day at the museum! I can't believe that we got to go inside of the Concorde and an airplane and a helicopter. Oh, and do you know what this is? This is the Lockheed A-12. It goes super fast, three times the speed of sound. <laughs> well, I hope you had fun learning with me today. This is the end of this video, but if you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E. K-A-H, Mika. All right, see you soon.